Hello there. Hello, hello, one and all. Welcome to a Wednesday afternoon live stream. I hope you guys are having a good time. And I hope, um, let's make sure any, any chaos lands on me today, yeah? Because today we're going to be playing some Oxygen Not Included. A game that I don't really know how to play. Um, so this is going to be an experience. I've played a bit, um, made it past the tutorial, so to speak. Um, I don't really have a good idea how to play. I would say I've learned the controls. That's a lie. I don't know all the controls very well. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot to go. There's a lot to do, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy enjoy watching me deal with this chaos. So let's go ahead and switch on over to the game cam, throw on my own music, and uh, let's do this, shall we? We'll start out to survival. We'll do classic because the DLC scares me. And let's go. We'll just do... Um, is there... I don't think there's a I don't think it matters does it this is just world generation okay uh, well we'll live here I guess fewer geysers and vents than normal oh there is a uh A difference here. Metal rich. Irregular oil. Oh no. So I don't know what these mean or what they do. Um, have I watched someone play this game? Uh, no, I have not. Request starting on the first one on the list? Okay. The world contains a frozen friend from a long time ago. Interesting. Okay, Warning. we'll start here. Clear launch detected. Just on the first one then. Let's go. Well, hello there. Nuclear Oxygen launch. Not included. <coughs> Sounds cool, but I don't think I'd fit into that community. Uh, hello there, Oxygen. Welcome to the party. Will I stream more Hydroneer? Uh, probably. Um, probably, because it, it was actually fairly highly recommended, like, almost up there with Fort's levels of interest. So, that's likely going to happen again, despite my... Despite my, um... Patience. All right, so we'll start off with characters here. Piloting medicine, I don't need you. Tidying is an interest with decreased germ resistance, increased construction. I don't think I mind that. Operating, I want an operator. Uh, carrying speed, capacity, that's nice. This character needs to get rerolled. Medicine, agriculture, strength. I don't know that I need an operator this soon, but like that's plus ten machinery. <clears throat> I'm I'm very okay with that. Let's see if we can get someone with supplying plus two strength. <laughs> Starry eyed. Oh no. So we have science and athletics. We do need a scientist. Run speed, decreased athletics. I can... Minus 50% run speed? But he's got plus 5 athletics, athletics, which is plus 50% run speed. So which makes it okay. 
Now this guy is just a uh, duress to impress attribute bonus as well as trust. This this character is me. This character is me right here. Super into science. Interested in athletics. Physically decreased athletics. Bonus to stress. Bonus while under stress. Yes. Okay, it'll drop down arrow. Oh. Okay. Um, we can actually choose our traits to start with. Just in his suit? Ah, I see. Okay. I will do research then. Science, agriculture, increased bladder, increased science. This, this I can work with. That's only not 0.2% per cycle. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. Let's see. We should probably change this then to someone with the digging capabilities. A second science is cool. I don't know that... Oh my god, no, that's death. No. Increased food morale bonus. Okay. Digger is cool. Uh, let's try re-rolling until we decrease construction, decrease machinery. This is the ultimate digger here. I'm okay with this. I can live with machine operation speed decrease here. Germ resistance, cool. And then I really don't mind machinery going here. Uh, Duplicate and periodically output natural gas. Isn't that just a buff? Like, isn't that just a good thing, yeah? Like, that's just that's just a buff, right? Like, I don't... I don't understand how that isn't a buff. Then we can have our secondary scientist here. Not that we really need a secondary scientist. And an operator. We don't have anyone who's bad at construction. I'm gonna live with this. The incursion will be the name. And what are our names going to be here? I know how we can start this. King Benjai. We have... We're still... Playing. Yeah. And uh, no, I think I think our scientist should be forty-two scientists. There we go. And uh, King Benja here. All right. Methane included. Yes. Is this a fresh save? Uh... Yes. Well, hello there. Andromeda Fallen coming in and joining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You just gained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel, as well as the special access rule on Discord. Welcome to the party. The asteroid we call home has collided with an anomalous planet, decimating our colony. Rebuilding it is of utmost importance. You detected a new cluster of material-rich planetoids in nearby space. If I can guide the duplicants through the perils of space travel, we can build a colony even bigger and better than before. All right, so we start with a whole lot of nutrient bars and outhouse and generator. All right, we've got some shine bugs up here with some existing f things. We have some metals, stone. All right. Let's uh, go this way. 
and go this way. Start knocking some things over yet. Yeah. What is the time measurement again? Cycles? Cycles is the time measurement. Yes. Do I have the DLC? I do have the DLC. And before suffocates and flatulent. Uh only one way to find out. Alright, so outhouse is needed. As is generator. Maybe Queen Benja. Oh no. I'm excited to get more duplicates so I can have more people come and join us. Alright, so we found some blossom seeds, some mealwood seeds, some muckroot. This water will be mandatory. Uh, so, for now, let's get a pitcher here. We'll do this. I need to undo this, which means we need to do this, this. All right. You're in the Philippines. The time is 326. That's going to be AM, 12 hours later than me. Have I played this before? Uh, not on stream. I played it a bit off stream. I can actually have some idea how to play the game. Um, I don't... I still learning the controls and all that fun stuff, so I'll have to, uh, carbon dioxide is a thing. All right. Dupes to actually drink water. Uh, that much I've figured out, yes. Somebody tooted, it would seem. Alright, so you just take everything. And, uh, we're good. Alright, so they can... They can survive like that. Uh, let's open this and this. So we have some water. Uh, next up, uh, we need to have... I want to go up here. One thing I've noticed is the importance of always building on 4x4s. Like the 4 height. Because otherwise you have a base that can't support new expansions and that's just a bad place to be. I uh, figured that out very quickly in the uh, in, in my test world. So we're just gonna throw you over here and we are going to add a research station here and we are going to add a battery requires metal ore. Oh look, there's metal everywhere. Uh, let's start going up here, yeah? There's a lot of metal all over this place. We can live here. We have chlorine and hydrogen and whatever is here. Inspect. We look around to recover old file, new database entry. Brought sunflower seeds. This is somebody's log from a voice recording. And this is new job at Gravitas today. All right, a bunch of people. Guess they're expanding. Most of them about your age. Then we're standing to great. Oh no. Okay. the game has a fart mechanic? It does! At least so it would seem. Hello, shine bugs. Welcome, welcome. Let's grab some copper. And some iron.
the germs oh no okay well hello hatch I uh, seem to have uncovered you all right so first off we can add wash basin here and then we can do some science where is stations research station we need power manual generator run you here and battery here and uh, i think we're gonna end up sleeping on the floor the first night but i don't know how to stop that i can stop that don't think it really matters though yeah Okay, I think we're going to end up sleeping on the floor the first night, but we'll survive. I play these kinds of games also? I don't know what that means. Fetching water. No, go away. Oh, oh yeah, there's some natural gas floating around. Ah, uh, yeah. I wonder how well deep sleep when there's uh, shine bugs everywhere. Well, at least one person's getting a bed. All right, we will set you to left. So anyone who leaves the outhouse has to wash their hands. Let's clear this stuff away from the toilet area. A new achievement. Have a toilet and a bed for every duplicate. Sweet. We did it, team. All right. Timed it nearly perfectly. Entirely accidental. All right, so now it is rest time for everyone. Unfortunately, we have one toilet and three dupes, so uh, good luck. Did you just sit down in front of the toilet and eat before washing your hands? Okay. That's unfortunate. You are covered in germ, and you ate something covered in your own germ. Okay. Okay. That's, um, that's unfortunate. Well, at least the one toilet worked for everyone. Hello, Hatch. I want to farm you guys. Uh, no oxygen generators built, nor a food source. <laughs> Shine bugs aren't a problem if you're a light sleeper. Hey. Why are you guys suffocating? Carbon dioxide, okay. I need to get science going. All right, uh, basic farming. We can get this going. That'll get us um, some uh, oxygen production. And then I think I can already see the inevitable problem with the natural gas. So we're just going to have to live with oh. a very big open environment. Hello. Jack the Ripper. Treat them like three-year-olds who can do manual labor. If needed, name one after me for Mischief XD. Uh, that's likely going to happen, yes. Also, hello there, Jack. Welcome, welcome. We have two hatches now. I like these characters. These little animals there. Intriguing. Oh, hello. We have a Paku in polluted water. We have some uranium. Interesting. Some more Paku. 
Uh, I figured out that these slimes have a thing called slime lung with millions of germs on them, which is horrifying. There's some sweetles. I don't know what to do with these. Can you build a basement and drain the CO2 into and recycle? Uh, that is the idea, yes. Eventually. Inevitably. <laughs> what a great game to get to watch at the beginning by someone. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy guacamole. Welcome, welcome. I know a lot of people, uh... I know a lot of people uh, are, were super into watching me play this game. And honestly, the reason I've not played it is because I tend to... I, I tend to have a mild addiction to this kind of game, and it's an actual problem as Andromeda Fallen. <laughs> That's one way to get it. No promises. I will give it a shot. I, I will make an effort to not to not kill you off. I make no promises. You read a book about you already made a glowing review. Still, one of the favorite one of my favorite things that I've done recently is uh, go through all the MIT online courses for uh, radioactivity, and nuclear physics. Well, they didn't go through all of them, went through two of them, and it's a lot of fun actually. I have a problem. Alright. I w wish you could queue up science. Like, as far as I can tell, you can't actually queue up science, and that makes me sad. An amazing problem that could be showcased. Oh no. I was supposed to be editing the Minecraft video. Why is the tea always Because I gone. keep drinking it. Me, Bob, Craig, Banana XD. You know what you must do. Get yes, your best yes. and give him 42 <coughs> different things to do. Uh, that is actually likely going to be a thing, because we already have a scientist researching. We are having some oxygen issues. But that's what scientists, scientist is for. You can shift click. I tried that several different times. I will try it again. I uh, will shift click on two. Pressure management. I'm going to need pressure management, but more importantly, I'm going to need. Where's the meal station place? Yeah, you see, it took it off of this guy. You cannot shift click. That's not a thing you can do. Okay. How much have I played? Oxygen not included already? Do I have good knowledge of the game? I do not have good knowledge of the game. It is a game that exists. I know some of the controls. Buried muckroot. Hello there, Hawklight. Hey, welcome, welcome. Time to stretch. My friend, Absolutely. I request you finish that Minecraft vid. I want to see which streamers I did better than XD. I assume most of them. Except for maybe, like, Caitlyn. <sighs> Caitlyn was quite competent, or at least lucky, one of the two. Then again, it wasn't exactly uh, meant to be a competency rush, so much as a, a wild and zany experience. Oh, here we go. Meal preparation. Here we go. All right, so where is my carbon dioxide? It's all down here. I'm okay with this. Oxygen, algae. We should have some algae around. Oh, look, algae. Put my toilet there. I'll have to move that soon. Let's go this way, shall we? Mm. Okay. <laughs> 
the Franker faces audio compression. I have no idea what that is. Demand to be the worst colonist. Uh, no promises. You will be there soon, TM. Uh, I do tend to... I like building tall in all of my colony and civ buildings. So that would mean... I assume in this it would mean very efficient and small. Like try to use as little space possible with as few duplicates as possible to get as much done. That is my... This is my... Uh, Typical strategy, overarching tactic. You finished up your semester today? Oh, oh, that's gotta feel good. That's gonna feel real good. <laughs> like building tall forts and then watching them collapse. Oh no. I think you should build water because ladders take up travel time. Uh, they do, and so does running back and forth. That's not, a. Uh, it's not what I was referring to, though. Do you get more duplicates? Yes, yes you do. I will not be picking up more dupl- I find it hard to imagine that I will be picking up new duplicates quickly. Um, I am very likely to not pick up more duplicates immediately, but it is something that can be done, and something that will be done periodically so next up i do think i'm go i believe i'm going to want ventilation early um i also believe i'm going to want yeah we're gonna have to go through basic quality stuff power regulation power Thought the tactic was enjoying its suffocation. <laughs> that's uh, that's half of it, yeah. Uh, where is grooming station? I need level two science for that. Okay. Gonna add farms over here. Seems like a good idea to me. And uh, we'll get going. Not much for it, but to let the dupes do their thing. With Briar, we can uproot you. Bristle blossom, meal wood is growing. Uproot you. Uh, I th the enable harvest does the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Muck root cannot be farmed. You got a sum of grinding games and training athletics ahead of you. That sounds like a good time, actually. That sounds like a very good time. <laughs> you should try out High Fleet. I, High Fleet didn't look particularly interesting to me. Like, I get it. I totally get it. It just seems slow and obtuse in terms of gameplay loop. And I was just not really super into the idea. Alright, that food source is now available, so we will do this. Now let's get a... <laughs> Enjoy being a student, full-time employment is a drag. I guess. Like, maybe it's the way I... A lot of people... It's a little bit harder to... Exp... It's a little bit harder to, to say this and have it be... I guess good faith than it, I suppose it was in uh, before my time but the whole purpose of being employed isn't to isn't to um, be the end all be all of life it's you know you spend 8 hours doing something you don't want to do so that you can have the next 16 hours doing things you want to do well 8 hours doing some things you want to do and then eight hours sleeping and so like there's you get a job that pays enough to survive even if you're just living off of an apartment and then and then you you go and you spend the rest of your hours working on something that you like and then hopefully you can end up monetizing that and find a new hobby 
and you can keep increasing the things that you like to do. And just keep growing as a person, learning new experiences and the like. So, like, I, I get it. It's hard to do that, especially given the uh, current economy. But, I mean... Did oh, this is unreachable. Well, I guess we're sleeping on the floor today. What if everything you like to do is illegal? I don't believe that. I understand that was a joke, but... Oh well. Rip bedroom. This tables without a room are useless. Yeah, I haven't I, I learned that this is this is one of the effects that I figured out. There's whole rooms that you're supposed to build. And uh they're very good, like mandatory. So like you need them. But you gotta build on a grid, or otherwise they don't work. It's like the, the system is meant for that. Hello there, Felorian. Welcome, welcome. As a student, you get masked with stretches of time off. You don't in employment. That's the best part. I suppose, yeah. I don't know. I, I had to work my way through university, so... University was my eight hours of spending time... ...progressing on my life. It was my eight hours a day. Whereas I did eight hours a day working. I didn't usually do eight hours a day working. I did more freelance stuff. Which was like... A weekend of 48 hours of work. Sleeping on Monday and then... Going to class three other four days of the week. TwitchCon San Diego is coming up. Yeah, I've never, I've never been to a TwitchCon. Uh, I imagine I wouldn't... I'm not too keen to go considering I'm not exactly Twitch affiliated. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> For its science. Okay, so I do need the advanced research facility. Should probably get pharma... I don't have any doctors. I do want... Pressure management here. But, alas... Could go into my winter. <laughs> I could just, just wait. Just I, I don't know. I I wouldn't know what to do. I don't I don't have any reason to be there other than just to hang out and chat. Find some people who are going. I'm sure I I I have a fair few friends. I'm sure who are going to be there. But it's not a, not something I'm keen to do. Does this have DLC? This does have the DLC, yes. <laughs> I love the animations in this game. They're so very well done. We have so much Oxalite. Ooh, Shine Nymph Egg. What do these things actually do? Employment research complete. Alright, uh, where is part two? Hello there, best, best four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Think you can be used as a power source? Interesting. I, uh, haven't the foggiest idea. Oh, the boop, the snoots. Welcome to the chat. Don't forget that too much O2 makes their ears go boom. Yeah, uh, that's easily solved. Very easily solved. Is this lead and abyssalite? Okay. Calling a seed light? No, they don't.
They work faster in light. That, I haven't, that I don't know. I assume that, I would imagine that's true. Is this unreachable? Go, do that. Thank you. They don't really need toilets either if you want to get down to it. That's probably true, actually. Because, like, all they do is spill polluted water around. Which is... Not that bad of a thing. It's just inconveniently placed most of the time. Every time. It's every time. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so, uh, what plans? I can build farm stuff here. Hmm. You would imagine you would make the portal explode? Oh no. I think I just need to expand out over here. We just gotta start digging in a direction. It's like, this'll be farm area. Water cooler. Crafting station. Do we have to worry about morale at the moment? We have 0% distress. We really don't have to worry about morale at all. Are beds reachable? Yeah, they're reachable now. So, food, farm, tile. And get some meal wood going, perhaps. <clears throat> if a giant cube with a heart on it pops out of the portal, you'd say send it back. Oh no. I would keep that. Are you kidding me? I would put it. There's an item pedestal you can get. Like, it's actually not. Where is it? I saw this here. Here it is. A pedestal. I would put it on a pedestal. Is there a story to this game or some kind of lore? There is! I don't know what it is. But, um, it is. We're building the toilet. Good thing I'm not you. Alright, um, science part two has been unlocked. Can do some kiln nonsense. Power regulation seems like a good idea. And perhaps we can start ranching. We're a bit of skill points away from that. Electrolysis. Sanitization. Uh, let's just start going down a tech tree and a tech tree, yeah? Yeah, go do that. <laughs> you were wrong. The shine bugs are just light. It's the ionizing bug that produces radiation. Radiation scares me. I think what I want to do... Ooh, mini pod. Hey, we've unlocked a new thing. So here we could choose a new character. Or, get this, we could get some dirt instead and not get a new character. Big brain. Uh, is there anything here that I really want? Hmm. If I die, you'll be very. If you die, you'll be very sad. Oh no! It's like. I guess. I guess I could use another duplicate pretty early here. So I have plus seven science here, which is not all. I already have a scientist. I have machining and strength, which is a little bit more interesting to me. Hmm. Joshua's good holler. Eh. I I don't mind not picking. I really don't mind not picking uh the um 
anyone here. Like, I, I could just pick dirt and not pick up anyone and wait for a better dupe to show up. It's like operating and supplying is a good combo to have. Night Owl is nice. Need two scientists? I don't need two scientists. It just slows the science speed if I don't have two scientists. And I think I need more digging and the like here. The carrying capacity is going to be good. Uh, okay, I think we'll actually take Bert here because we have Night Owl operating and supplying. So we can get machinery going. Okay. Bert earned a skill point. Let's go to skills. We can give you... Like, look at this. It's like, he even has mechatronics engineering. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, definitely picking up carrying capacity for the strength bonus. Off the beginning. And uh, everyone else is good to go, yeah? You wear a hat. Scientists learn things faster? Yes. Yes, they do learn things faster. Fortunately, we have one. And his name is 42 Scientist. Actually, what are what are your stats? Skills. Learned skills. None. Bio. Researching. Quick learner. Yeah, he's got the quick learner stats trait okay did it set priorities i have not touched priorities don't think I really need to not at a point where it matters okay so i could toss meal wood on here i can toss meal wood on here insufficient oxygen production let's fix that shall we Rename the Bert. I almost forgot to rename Bert. Bert. This is Andromeda Fallen. Hello, Andromeda. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the game. Am I going to need a third allergy terrarium? Carbon dioxide buildup over here. We're going to need a third allergy terrarium. How could I think of names so well? Uh, I, I don't. I'm literally doing the thing where I just take people from chat, the regulars from chat, and have them join in the world. You could have had 43 scientists. It's just another clone. Oh, no. Three mealwood per dupe? I have no idea. Hello there, colony of ants. Welcome, welcome. Are these not built yet? Oh, well. We need a fourth bed now. Well, that's not gonna... Someone's sleeping on the floor. Sorry, Andromeda Fallen. You don't have a bed yet. Where's bed button? Bed button. There. Everyone lives under the glow of the bugs. Must disinfect all? No. They call that crowdsourcing now. <laughs> I like that term. We'll have to have to borrow that one. Hello there. Welcome to the chat. Uh, 
too bright oh no 42 scientists getting bullied by a shine bug okay so they do actually have to live in the they do actually have to sleep in the dark oh, that's unfortunate okay uh i do want to create a night owl schedule uh let's see night owl and we want to just slide these over a bit we can do what is it one two we can go to bedtime one two three we can do downtime one two bath time afterward and then everything else is work so just shift that over move duplicant andromeda fallen moves to you okay nice research complete it's already working on the next one nice my experience with this game no no i'm not how is there daytime nighttime in a cave of the world may never know. All right, mealwood seed. Uh, let's clean this toilet while we have the opportunity, and uh, let's do. This will be our main water. We can add alternate water, or even better yet. I can move the water over here. Yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Basically an ant farm. Oh no. Okay, so before anyone has to use the bathroom we got that cleaned up nice <laughs> okay so let's check out our LG I want LG on the resources screen so I can keep that there and see how that's doing okay light bugs are sleeping there's four of them now do you have harvest enabled you do now I think I may want to hold off on the science Wow, you take a long time to clean that toilet, don't you? Like, that's, uh... Half of a day, about. Okay. Have a good one, Spooky. Good luck out there. A great way to vent all your oxygen in this space. I did that in my test world. I was like, oh, what's up here? And then I got a little bit too close to the edge. I didn't purposefully vent. Um, I just got within like 10 blocks of it. And the, the surface was made out of dust. And it filled up my ladder. And then after I rescued the person that was in there, I was like, where did all this dust come from? And then I saw the cold coming down from the top. I was like, oh no. It was an experience. Mm. 
meal with the seed. We're still cleaning. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, insufficient oxygen production. Wow, we're not producing much oxygen at all. This emits 40 oxygen per second. Uh, let's work on that a little bit. I don't... <laughs> Frostpunk shuts down your computer. That sounds terrifying and concerning. You should probably look into that. Oh, that's tier two research. Power production. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that looks oxygen adjacent. Deodorizer. I don't need to mess with the automation and, and all that down here. Start the science. Okay. Rocket platform. That's what I'm looking for. I said convincingly. Sublimation station. How much polluted dirt do we have? Not much. Ventilation going. Hello, Lednaja. Are we doing science and surviving? Yes. Yes, we are. Welcome to the chat. Are there some rocks that makes oxygen in this game? Yes. They are, uh, they're up here. They're emitting oxygen. As they do. You know what I can do? I can press this button, and then everything goes faster. Sublimation station. There's really not much pressure down here. Let's uh, fix that. I may need to do this, which means this. for a science. Hopefully you have some good dupes and your food supply grows well. Yeah, that's uh that's going to that's gonna happen. Jumbo battery. Yay! It's better than another battery. Downtime for everyone but uh, Andromeda Fallen. Who is doing our science now? I should have it such that only... Where's science button? Researching. Everyone is disallowed except for 42 scientists. There we go. Okay. Oh, they're gonna get bullied again. Okay, I need to make like actual bedrooms here.
as we stop getting bullied by by the bugs. We cannot dig that direction. Because that requires level 2 digging. Which... We haven't unlocked yet. Okay. Will I play Hydra Near anytime soon? Very likely, yes. Go, Mealwood, go. Oh no. I've done it again. Why is it when you talk to people that you start copying their mannerisms? Human brain social nonsense, please stop it. I want to be me. Okay. What does room require for a barrack? 12 tiles. Sweet. And we need a door, and we need a step ladder, and we need to do this, and I need a cot. Out of the furniture, okay. Deconstruct you. Uh, I do need a step ladder in here to construct this, and then I need this and this. Something very Rimworld is you lock all the doors in the open state, and then you don't worry about them ever again. Furniture bed is under furniture. What? What? Whoa. Okay. Okay, it's not a human. I was concerned. I was very concerned. Alright, so we deconstruct this. We deconstruct this. We don't deconstruct this. We deconstruct this and we add a step ladder here and we add tiles here okay okay natural ladder oh no Okay, open you. Now we replace these tiles. Uh, let me just do all of these, just all of it. Alright, so next up, the next cot. Oh, hello. I like the hatches. The hatchling creatures are... Cool. It is downtime ish. And we need tiles to go here. Then everyone will have safety from the light. Almost. Almost everyone will have safety from the light. There's just a chance that they will be forever plagued with light. Next up on the science, K 
kiln, rock crusher. Don't really need those right now, as far as I can tell. I still really haven't figured out how to use these or found any reason for them. But I'm sure that will happen soon, eventually. Water and oxygen into hydrogen. I'm okay with this. Air filters. But I think it's about... We'll, we'll, we'll get it so that it'll be there when we need it. <clears throat> we'll do all the tier 1 techs. Including medicine. And then we'll start working on tier 2 stuff. Okay. Insufficient oxygen generation. You say that... Is it, does it not count oxalite as generating oxygen? It's probably what it is. Hello there, Andromeda. Doing all of the work at the night. Okay, deconstruct. And then a pneumatic door. Make you open. That is unreachable. We can fix that with a stepladder. Oh, cancel deconstruct. I want to build a tile here. I don't want to build a tile there because I kind of need that for room space. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, uh, next, we have polluted oxygen everywhere. Understandable. Time to expand somewhat. We go this way now. <coughs> okay, so we have a bed for everyone and furniture mess table. I can mop you. Get my water out the way. Max gas pressure at... So it seems that... I don't know how this works. It seems that it only displays the top gas in an environment. So like this is considered polluted oxygen here at 1. 1.4... About 1.5 kg of polluted oxygen. But that's not the only gas that's there. There's also regular oxygen, and there's also carbon dioxide there. It just doesn't show the other gases. It's like, you can tell because it just constantly flops around. Like, here, we have polluted oxygen. That's one... That's 187 grams. But I unpause for a moment. Now it's regular oxygen at 241 grams. Gases cannot mix whatsoever. Uh, uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Because it, it seems that it just constantly flips around. Even if there's like no other gases around. Like it looks like it's just tile by tile. But that does that's not how it seems to act at all. This thing is ejecting food poisoning into the atmosphere. Uh, hello, you collapsed onto the floor. Okay. All right, nice. Research complete. Everything is on Everything fire. Everything is always on fire. 
One element per tile. There is only Po two there. That was... It doesn't make sense to me. Like, that's not how it acts. But it does make sense. Uh, advanced researching. Yes, I need level 2 science for you. And you are our operator. We're still playing is our digger. Yes, hard digging. Give me that hard digging. Alright, King Benjai. Machine operating. Do advanced operating stuffs. Did you not get a meal? No, you did not get a meal wood. Uh, let's set King Benjai to operating at maximum tier. Okay. Is there a malice for sharing bathrooms? Bedrooms? That I don't know. How many uses are left here? Does it not say? Seven visits, okay. So we're good to go. We have idle peoples. New principles available. Uh, let us get some more... What am I looking for? I'm looking for this guy. And I also want to dig all of this. We can increase a reservoir here. Alright, so we can get a new principle here. I'm um, Oxyfern 100% of the time. Give. Make a poop pit in the center of the base. Well, that's kind of the idea. Uh, I don't need to do that just yet, but I will. Uh, I want to move the water over here. Like all of it over here. And then we'll move things around. Phosphorite, metal ore, dirt, dirt, algae. There's some coal up here. Okay. Research complete. Insufficient oxygen generation. You remember having glorious unethical experiments in this game? Oh no. Default schedule. Downtime. Do I have a pip to plant that oxyfern? I don't really have a whole lot of carbon dioxide around except for over here. Which I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, hello. The hatches, they make noise when they wake up. They are like alarm clocks. Recognize the biome bottom left? This biome? I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to put the oxy fern here because there's carbon dioxide over here. One thing... One thing about this game that I haven't learned yet is how to actually make, like, uh, self-sustaining systems. Like, there's a whole lot of, um... of... alchemical-style matter manipulation. Oxygen to carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide to... well, I don't even know what they all are. All the different ones, but... Like, a dirt, a polluted dirt to dirt. Uh, you name it, there's there's some kind of way of converting one material into another. 
a lot of them seem lossy or in some manner um, destructive. So it's like no matter what I've seen, like every time I've seen something, it appears to me that I need to constantly be expanding to feed dirt, to feed coal, to feed iron or metals into into the uh, into the systems. I kind of wanted to move my plants over here and get the water over here. Alright, so first off, pick new science. Air, medicine... We're going to need to go to tier 2 science here in a moment. Water and into oxygen and hydrogen. I like that idea. Okay. All right. Um, I do need a place to put my polluted, my polluted water. I also want coal and more power production and such. More mealwood seeds. Kind of running out of food here. Here, collect food. And gets access to some more oxygen, a little bit more carbon dioxide. No, <laughs> never enough wheeze words. The wheeze words seem nice. Atmosphere. Yeah, we don't have enough carbon dioxide around here, it would seem. So many shine nymphs everywhere. Oh no. There's also space. Space likes to devour heat if, you, if you're careful. Yeah, dude. Tr in my test world, I accidentally exposed myself to space. And then after I... That wasn't the big deal. I lost a lot of hydrogen at the top, which I wasn't using anyway. So, like, that wasn't a big deal. It was scary and surprising, but not that big of a problem. The problem happened later when when I realized that the cold was coming and I couldn't stop it. Every biome that surrounded me was cold and I had to, I was trying to fight off the cold by just slapping like six layers of insulation and then, um, like six layers of insulation and then, um, well, that's not what I want. Just running every machine I could in that area just to generate more heat. And it was not enough. It was just constantly not enough. It's like space was winning by sucking out all of the, uh, what's it called? Sucking out all of the heat. It wasn't even exposed to vacuum. It was just cold. Insufficient oxygen generation. Looks like our oxalite is running out. One layer of a, a 
Abyssolite's installation. Yeah, I haven't gotten far enough in the game to know much of anything about that. <laughs> Six layers of insulation sounds like an epic test world. <laughs> it was something. Yeah, I can just run through this. What I'm going to do, before I forget this, is put this on 9 here. Uh, you know what? Why do I not have a second one? Is there a reason for me not to have a second one? <laughs> Space is no particles. How does it take away your heat? I haven't the foggiest idea. Like, I was super tempted. Like, I did not... I do not understand how that was doing that. Like, I was tempted... As far as I could tell, vacuum has no way of transferring heat. But it was, like, sucking out all of my heat anyways. Alright. I need to invest into colony management. I need to invest into tier 2 science. Which is... Rock Crusher, Rust Oxidizer, Electrolyzer. I don't have realistic power production right now, so we're not going to touch the Electrolyzer. However, I can get a supercomputer that consumes water. Okay. Let's put you over here. We will run another manual generator next to a jumbo battery and wire. Okay, I'm going to deconstruct these two. And I'm going to... do so in a, a rare moment of colony planning i'm going to do this and just give myself some room here that way i can have like a central spire to work with a central elevator Let's put, let's move our bathroom up here, outhouse, outhouse, medicine, wash basin. Okay, we'll put power, what are the piles of wild bling fart? <laughs> on the uh, farm layer. Uh, polluted oxygen. That's what it is. Go away, please. Alright, so now I should be able to get Tier 2 Science. Which can give me... What do we want first? I like the Fire Pole. For efficient vertical movement. Um, p 
depleted oxygen. Let's do that. Remove the pollution. Plane spaced out. Yeah. Okay. Research complete. Progress. One of these days, someone will build that, and then it will be, be we will all be better for it. food. Can move these. No, okay. This priority button. Raise you to six so that we can get this going, please. Thank you. We will move you just here. And then you should reprioritize these. Thank you. Okay. All right, so now you should no longer, you have a battery there, so you should no longer be running infinitely forever and ever. Uh-oh. Not that it's going to be the end of me, but these should be done first. Thank you. All right. Okay. That'll do. everything edible please I'm aware elevate those by one thank you excellent yes Setting test at 9 means life or death. I mean, yeah, there was life or death. Just not... It would have been death very quickly. Nom nom delicious copper. Whoop. Okay, we expand. The farm must grow. We have so many people, so many duplicates. Everyone's running on their wheels and not building, which is, I mean, it's what I told them to do. It's just a slow process, yeah? Honestly, I should put polluted water over here. Okay, plumbing, bottle emptier right here, thank you. Just stay away from the slime lung. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll alert when the toilet overflows. 
Uh, yeah, we can knock that down to eight. And uh, deconstruct these. All right. We have new blueprint available. Oxalite. 100 kg of oxalite? Or 3,000 kg of coal? Gotta go oxalite here, right? Just in case. Because that'll just... Sublimate. Over time. Still under construction, okay. Research complete. Still working on, still working on deodorizer. <laughs> if you give your ponds <laughs> cold lung, they soon they won't need oxygen anymore. Hey, the real efficiency. Research complete. Okay, next stage of research. Nope, it's still have just the message is still there you need a meal wood I think I'm going to put a ladder here just so that we don't have to worry about a What did you eat? You ate something. Yes, spin your wheels round and round. Alright, uh, let's deconstruct this guy. Just to get him out of the way. So we have another one over here. And it buries. If I have oxalite, that means oxygen is included. It, I just got oxalite. Insufficient oxygen generation. So close to finishing the science. 42 science, doing science things. And then we can clean up all the polluted oxygen. Because there is a lot of it. It's, it's the sublimation station that's doing most of the pollution here. All right, oxygen, deodorizer here and here and I'm looking for this, thank you. And here and Power to run across. I'm going to connect these because nothing is going to stop me from, from doing anything about that. I want this to be complete. Unreachable dig. How is this unreachable? Okay, thank you. All right. Polluted water. Go that way. So now we can make this go away because that's causing problems. Achievement unlocked. Construct a building outside the initial starting biome. Alright. Because we're in the slime biome. The slime lung biome, which is horrifying. 
You gotta run a long way, don't you? Yeah, you do. Get out of here. Alright, you need a mealwort seed. I don't have access to mealwort seed. Do we have new skills yet? Nope. Moving on. Okay. I don't know what to do. Alright. New science. Um, I should probably start working on power production. Where's... Got this guy. Get better batteries. Seems like a good idea to me. That way we can store power and then I can run coal generators. I probably want to go down a lot. To at least explore what resources we have available. Yeah, just blow through it, please. Do you mean more dupes running on wheels? Nope. Tempting though. You like just get a dupe just for this otherwise. Otherwise for uh you just get more dupes for the sole purpose of running more wheels. Cut the coal for coal generator. Okay, so we are clearing out the oxygen. Uh, is oxygen... No. We're at 90% breathability. You'll love to see it. You had a space fair and colony run completely out on hamster wheels. I mean, it seems to work. That's not what I want to do. I don't like going for the wide style builds where you uh, build for the many rather than a few efficient ones. But that is absolutely an option. What are you, for my own curiosity? It's like a loot box. Opening those up every time. What is my purpose, master? For what was I cloned, says the new dupe. You run on this wheel for 16 hours a day. No stopping, no breaks, no lunch. You get sleep, maggot food, and water at the end of the shift, says management. That sounds about right. Oh, we got a blossom seed. That's not going to be used. Let us sweep away the dirty water. That's the sand that's saying it doesn't has any, have anywhere to be. Okay. Mechanized airlock. I did actually have a, a, a natural gas vent in my test world. I put it behind an airlock and had levers, power levers for uh, turning it on and off, which was nice. Go science, do science things. Yeah, this is gonna be well before we get down here, isn't it? 
Yeah. That's fine. As long as I just don't give any more commands. I'll be okay. And they will start going down. They will get a little bit wet along the way, but I'll survive. Actually. Right, let's do this. And I'm sorry, what just happened? There's another slime biome. Slime everywhere. Okay. I'm okay with this. Mm. Good thing tubes can breathe water. Ah, uh, they're quite good at the whole water thing. Dealing with water thing. Alright, so we have gotten rid of most of the... Oh, carbon dioxide. Uh, we've gotten rid of most of the, um... Issues with... Um... Yeah, let's... Dig this. Research complete. New development opportunities. New construction options. Uh, ventilation seems like a decent idea, but not more of an idea than temperature modulation? How about filtration and distillation? We've got a lot of slime around us. Slime into algae seems like a good idea to me. Okay. You once locked a stress vomiting dupe in a room with a graded floor for the rest of their life. They produced thousands of kilograms of water, in quotes, over the course of several days. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Alrighty, have a good one, Andromeda. Kung Fu class actually sounds like a good time. I used to do uh, Taekwondo. Now it's actually a, it's a lot of fun and satisfying. Highly recommend. just laying a grid here for me to play with later. If I dig this out, I should have enough room here for the water, or at least a lot of it. Is there a challenge I use hamster generators only? I'm certain this is a... I'm certain that's a thing people have done, and I... I would be surprised if it was not possible. It seems perfectly possible to do that. You just need, like, an extra bunch of dupes and the food to go with them. It's like, these things, they, they generate... What is it? 400 watts? Which is... A lot for this game. Like, that, that that's perfectly usable for the purposes of this game. Independent Taekwondo instructor or ATA? I went to uh, ATA. I am 100% convinced that it was not a real self-defense class, or in any reasonable degree. But, uh, it was fun. And it was act some actual exercise. Which was good. <laughs> Let's just dig all this out. I'll do 
this as well. It is a community challenge? Ah, okay. You were correct. You said there is, not is there. That's my bad. More science opportunities. Alright, so you were producing things. How are they idle when there are things- Oh my god. I did it again. Ruins below, any goodies? Only one way to find out. Honestly, I'm looking for a biome. The reason I'm going down that way is because we have hot, we have not cold. I'm looking for a biome that isn't just hot everywhere. And it seems to be warm into hot which is not the world I'm looking for. And I was kind of going this way because this was the only direction of green. And this doesn't immediately lead to a hot death. But uh, looks like that's not likely to happen. We need to get that first. That way we can clear out this water. Now, we build out this way, give the water a place to go, and then we mop it up. Oh great overseer robot, there is a gap in the floor in my bedroom and I don't know how to proceed, please help. Sounds about right. You like martial arts as a form of exercise? I tend to agree for those for those reasons. All right, Mirth Seed. Uh, I don't like these people. Got a good cook. We're gonna go with Mirth Seeds. Can you eat these? Uh, all right, so we do farm tile over here. Dig this out. It's another slime biome. Let's head this way. We'll mop this. Let's get that out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we want more mouths defeated at this stage? Probably not, no. Oxygen generation is suffering. The carbon dioxide grows. Yeah, we're actually suffering pretty hard for oxygen. It's going to become a problem if I don't do something about it very quickly. Power control station. Alright, uh, I can get an electrolyzer. For that I need a pump. For that I actually need like, I need, like actual power. Rust oxidizer. Rust and oxygen and chlorine. I don't have oxygen diffuser. Let's get a couple oxygen diffusers. Okay. Do these take power? No. They do generate heat, which is... Oh. That's a fair amount of heat. Okay. Why are there two ladders? Uh, for future proofing reasons. Just so I for don't forget that I'm building multiple ladders here. Because in my test world, I very quickly came to the realization that... Uh, if you don't plan ahead at all, then you will suffer greatly. So, I am having any amount of planning ahead here. Uh, 
I'm going to save these three spaces here for um, transport, I guess, for logistics. Too much liquid still. Can I dig there? I can. That should solve a liquid problem. We'll get access to slime lung. Wait, why am I going this way? I want to go this way. Okay, so I want to do the next research. Natural gas generator, oil refinery. I still haven't the foggiest idea how to do anything oil related. I should probably get the basic medical stuff. There's a lot of slime lung over here. Okay, well, we won't have to go far or long. We just want to go here. Okay, now I figure out what's in here. But hopefully, we'll find that in a region that isn't made out of hot death. Going to have to go up as well by a lot. Let's do that. That seems like a good plan to me. There's a lot of copper here and some coal to go with it, which I like. Okay. Research the IKEA fall collection all in one survival base. That would be cool. I want the polluted oxygen to go away. I want this guy to be prioritized. Um. Yeah, if I can get the carbon dioxide off of here would be nice. And I can move it down because it's a long way to go to get oxygen for these for these dupes. Isn't there ventilation? There is ventilation. Uh, I can move things around. I can't solve the problem of not having enough. So like, where do I put it if I move it is the question. Because I don't have a solution to that. Like, at all. Well, hello there, coder. Hey, you. Time to stretch. Absolutely. Okay. Glad to see me finally play this. Yeah, uh, I was avoiding it because it would... I, I, I have problems. I, I don't know how to say no to this kind of game. So now we're here. And now, now we do this. Though I know you guys do like this kind of game because I can sit here and talk to you guys most of the time. Is there any mechanic for bridging from cold to warm areas for power? Well, that's not a question for me. All right, oxy fern. Do oxy fern things. Generate oxygen. All right. Allergy distiller. This creates polluted water. So we'll put this over here. The slime lung does not grow, so we are fine. This takes power, right? No? No? Okay. 
In that case, we do... Uh, let's do a mesh tile so I can actually work over here without dropping all of my goodies. And then we do a plumbing. A liquid vent. And a liquid pipe. Okay. Alright, so now any slime I find, I can mine through and dump it into here. Uh, let's actually do a storage bin. Here. Um, this is going to be an unworkable space. Because that's way too much travel time to get through here. My dupes will not be able to make that, make that run. Way too much CO2 to deal with, so I need to go CO2 cleansing and replace it with oxygen. So I need to r severely ramp up my oxygen production here is what, is what I'm seeing. Uh, let's do food ranching. That seems like a good idea to start that process. I don't know much about it other than it takes a long time. Sad day in the States today. I have I have not looked outside my window for, for a good 12 hours, so if something has happened recently, I've missed it. Oh, is it removing polluted water? Just removing impurities and making minerals and salts as a byproduct? Gamisms. <laughs> okay, building lacks resource. Sublimation station is missing polluted dirt. Uh, let's actually clean this toilet while we have an opportunity here. Alright, so we've got plenty of oxygen. This produces a lot of oxygen. Okay. Also consumes a fair amount of algae. What's my algae at? 13 tons. Okay, what, what are you? Farm tile, farm tile. Uh, let's, because there's water here, let's do tile, tile, tile. Right, so we've got a lot of meal wood. Can I do cooked meal wood? Is that a thing? Let's find out. I have three more oxygen plant seeds I could move down. I'm pretty certain I only got one. <clears throat> I'm pretty certain I only have one, but I will check. Yeah, let's... Do this. Wait. Why is this not equalizing? Should go this way. Oh, there's a pressure differential here. I need to put it on the floor, not the ceiling. That'll do. Alright, so we are pushing the CO2 down. This is workable. Okay. Why is there so little O2 in the bedrooms? Uh, looks like it's having a hard So I have so little O2 everywhere. Like, I have very thin air. Like, the air itself is thin. So I'm producing enough O2 to be breathable, but it's not thick enough to spread out, is what's happening here. So far away from the center is just not... It's just not here. Like, you can see up over here, it's going to do the same thing 
It's actually kind of over here mostly. It's having a hard time spreading around. Yeah, I don't have any more oxy ferns available. The only thing I can do is blossom seeds and mealwood. Actually, wait a minute. What was mirth? Oh, is it one of those decorative plants? It's a decorative plant, isn't it? With a campfire, you can cook four items at a time for free. Unironically, Minecraft is such a good automation game. Like, it is on par with Factorio and the like. Satisfactorio program. Right, so this has been dug out. Yeah, it's like currently the oxygen has to push up and then over, which is doing, it's just not doing it particularly quickly. But I can uh, fix that with some airflow tiles, that way it only has to push up. Research complete. Everything is on fire. Everything is always on fire. Rushing research is always a good idea. For example, carbon collectors can let you deal with all the CO2, although digging a bigger CO2 hole is better. Yeah, that doesn't I uh, I like science. I I do like science a lot. That it makes me happy. Um rushing uh, for carbon I strongly dislike the idea of building a bigger hole to store it for later because it doesn't solve the problem. It just makes my life harder 10 minutes from now. Not a fan. Really not a fan. I don't have anyone with a cooking skill. Okay. I'm also out of food. Okay, so we need to cook. Need more turbines? No. Hello there, shine nymph. Alright, so I can't realistically expand down this way. Achievement unlocked. Good egg. Hatch a new critter from morph from an egg. I'm sorry, what? We have some wild critters morphing of their own accord. Okay. He said the red shirt dupe suspiciously. Oh no. He hungry. I do have food, just not much. Alright, uh, skill point, skill point, skill point. Everyone's got a skill point. Should have done this a while ago. Uh, so I need advanced research here. I can do field research. Because you are a scientist. Scientist to science things. You... Carry more things for construction reasons. You will be our mechatronics engineer. 
you super hard digging for abyssalite. And you, I guess you get electrical engineering. I don't have a cook. That's probably going to be a problem for me. Okay. I may need to invest in a uh, smush machine. Mush machine. Where is the mush machine? Food? Microbe musher. Okay. Okay. Time for hats. What do the hats actually do? Besides cosmetics. Hatchling eggs. Seed of a jumping joya. These are... Not food. These are potentially food. This is a human that can do cooking. This is potentially food. Alright, so what I want to do is create an environment for ranching so that we can start. Three, four. Here, I need to do, there are causes strictly cosmetic, that makes sense to me. Alright, so how much food do we have left? Got some muckroot left over and some meal lice, which is horrifying. Blossom seeds. I think I want to set up a. Hey, you, hmm. time to stretch. Absolutely. Try setting up a hatch ranch for food. I'm going to recommend not giving me suggestions. Uh, that's kind of sort of what I was going to do. So, like, no hard feelings or anything. But it is in everyone's best interest, including my own, that I fail my way to through the game. Is it no back city? I... I'm not going to say no backseating, just please don't, and don't be too rough about it. Don't, like, don't, don't push it. It is in everyone's best interest that there is as little backseating as possible. Alright, so we are now creating enough oxygen that we're pushing the CO2 down quite extensively. We still have polluted oxygen out and about. Don't have to worry about it too much. Agriculture, don't mind if I do. Research complete. I want to find a cold biome. So you don't you don't have to apologize. Like I, I, I understand people are not most people are not oh what is this? Neutronium. Okay. Chlorine. I do not see cold biome anywhere. We have a table. That's cool. Okay. We have a gulp fry. Hey, we found the we found the modified fish. Okay. Embrace the doom. I mean, that's kind of the joy of the game, yeah? That's a geyser? Yeah, as far as I can tell, the um, the geysers are like the only renewable source of resources. 
attribute increase. We're still playing. Now with extra athletics. Alright. So the mealwood is growing. Building next resources. Let's make this go away. Send the germs to germland. <sighs> I don't understand why this is considered unreachable. It's on the floor! Are you... Oh, he's the tooting one, isn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to need a pneumatic door here. Pneumatic door here. And we're going to need a grooming station here. And we're going to need... I don't know why a critter drop-off is considered food, but alas, this is the world in which we live. And uh, what else am I looking for? Storage bin. Fire pole. Excellent. Do -do 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 Probably a chlorine geyser. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to attempt to get... Okay, let's... There we go. <laughs> well, hello there. Patrick! Ooh, no backseating. Hate to say this, but this will make your life much harder. This game is worse than Dark Souls as you won't know what you did wrong when it was a mistake like 10 minutes in a one hour game. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the point of the game, yeah? That's, uh, that's the joy of it. Thank you so much, Patrick, coming in with the support and the laughter along the way. So this was an example of something that didn't... Uh, well, I'll talk about that when it's... I'll talk about the ice when it's, uh, when it's there. This does need power. Okay. I was lied to. That is one thing I don't like about this game. There is so much that is um, not listed. It's like, oh, hello, here's a building that does what it says it does. And also spews polluted water everywhere. And you won't know that until it's frozen and entombed itself. It's like, okay. What's the load on this wire? Potential load, 800 watts. Not an issue. I am going to order this toilet cleaned. Hello, Shine Nymph. <laughs> to quote a guy in a YouTube video, this game is about building stuff that breaks over and over and over until you get it right. It sounds about correct to me. Uh, I want to reprioritize this up here so that we can explore a bit and see what's actually going on up here. Because so far it looks like there's a whole lot of nothing. This is hot area with hydrogen. We have this here. This is the, the hot ish area. This is a potentially cooler area, but getting down here is going to be a problem for me because CO2. Usually, when you hover, it can tell you. Yeah, so here's the thing. 
it tells you like half of the things. It doesn't tell you everything. So you have to build it and then watch it and see what it does or doesn't do. Radiation lamp. That's oh, terrifying. Have I considered playing Dwarf Fortress? Yes. <laughs> Losing his fun and forms character. It's an experience. All right, so what have we got up here? Uh, obsidian, granite. I don't have the ability to dig this. Because I don't have that skill unlocked. I can see the top of the geyser. I could see it. I don't think I can hover over it. I don't think it's going to let me hover over it. Okay, well, we tried. Um, if I plant this guy over here, actually, I can work on... He has the oxygen will rise anyways. Let's do that. Considering how cold it is right there, it might be a cold geyser. Yeah, I found a cold steam geyser. Um, it spewed constant 100 degrees Celsius steam and was a scourge. And by scourge, I mean I just closed the game and didn't deal with it. Time to research diamond pickaxe. Cold steam is still 110 degrees. Yeah. So, cold TM. Hey, look at them doing all the harvesting. Sweet. Is it science o'clock? Just about. Insulation. I want to add this guy here. Because we're getting some more polluted oxygen coming around. Hmm. You run away from a problem, you don't have that problem. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Alright, uh, fossil fuels, plastic manufacturing. I don't have a doctor, which may become a problem because I'm surrounded by slime lung. Improve plumbing. I want the storage. The basic storage is nice. It depends how fast the problem runs. <laughs> or a 2000 sea volcano. That sounds... That sounds like a lot, yes. I probably don't want to open that. Because it could just be death. Okay. So... We've got this up here, which leads toward more hot in every direction, which is terrifying. Because I'm going to have to... So as far as I can tell, there's like no real way to um, generate cold or expel heat. Like there's no way to destroy heat. So at this point, I'm kind of concerned that there's about doing any kind of industry because I can generate a lot of heat very quickly. I figured that one out extremely quick. Um, what I don't have is uh, what I don't have is a way of getting rid of heat. Our methods to lose people must involve science. Yeah. Uh, let's focus on this first, over here. 
Let's do critter eggs here. Not any critter egg, just hatchling eggs. Puffed lit egg? I don't know what that is. I don't know what half of these things are. Okay. Just make your guys do cold stares into each other. Hey! Don't have any steam engines? I don't know what that is. Well, I'm not in game anyways. Ice machines remove heat and they're early game. So that's what I was going to talk about. Because uh, they don't do that. So let's, let's look at that for a moment. We have ice machines. You know what these do? These... Oh, that doesn't... It doesn't actually tell me. Because it's... It has not built yet. Uh, so... Ice machines... In order to use the ice machine, you need ice. Uh, ice machines... Or the ice fan. Let me get the, the name for it. We have an ice fan, which consumes ice to generate cold. Then we have an ice maker, which consumes heat, or generates heat to make cold. As far as I can tell, this is a process which produces more heat than it removes. Like, this is not a, this is not a net zero, this is not a net zero, um, experience. If you have an ice maker and an ice fan, you generate more heat than you get rid of. Which, um, not ideal. It was not a way of reducing heat, it's just a way of moving it around. Didn't I pick up ranching? Oh no, ranching is a level 2 stat. And I don't have anyone working toward it. So I need you and you. So we're going to be a little while before we can actually get ranching done then. That's that's on me can't you make ice in a closed space that has like, insulation so I can but then I'm creating a room that's full of full of extreme heat and that is a very temporary um, very temporary solution to the problem So, um, one thing I did notice, and this is one of the reasons I kind of want to go up. I don't know if up is the closest way to space. If I can find space, I can make a an environment that just seeps cold out. Because apparently that's how space works. And then I could do that. I'm super tempted. We're having we're we're so very close to having food issues, I'm not going to. Let's focus on keeping our dudes alive. Warm ice is water. Yes, yes it is. We have so many shine bugs. New construction options available. Smelting. This sucker right here, the metal refinery. That guy was like my saving grace. I used that to warm my base. It was nice. I haven't played with conveyor belts at all. I haven't played with a lot of these things. I saw metal refinery and I went straight to that. Fossil fuel. What is going to be more important right now? Guess I can start the decor tree. Hmm. Does time increase between printing? Not to my knowledge, no. It's pretty consistent. At least it feels consistent. 
Okay, I think I just need to do either liquid related or power related here. Or scrubber desalinator. Wall toilet. Let's get liquid tuning because we're probably going to need to do some liquid shenanigans around here. Automation. I noticed that there seems to be a whole lot of, um, what is it called? A whole lot of logic circuits and that makes me happy and worries me a little bit. You haven't played Oxygen not included in the year? You only have like 180 hours in the game? Only 180 hours, you say? Okay. Uh, let's clean this toilet. The night shift is going. Okay, he's moving. Do, do, do. Will this be on YouTube? All my streams are. It's just not reachable. It doesn't matter. Need more skills. Got a couple almost leveled up. Is there a temperature cap for towels in this game? You can make something hotter than the sun without things blowing up. I haven't the foggiest idea. Uh, I did notice that it is possible to change the physical state of objects based on... Um, temperature. Stay away from the radioactive source. Yeah, we're actually generating enough oxygen that it's seriously pushing down the carbon dioxide. Not that there's a whole lot of carbon dioxide down here to push through, but... Alright, so I should be able to move this oxyfern down here. Uh, let's do this. You could increase sea heat indefinitely. Liquefy stone and even diamond. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> to delete heat, you need a thermo aqua tuner. To move heat to a steam box, and use steam generators to use steam. They emit water at 90, 90 degrees Celsius, independent of steam temperature. That sounds like a lossy experience. And I can only imagine we'll get patched out at some point. Oh no. Because everything else seems to run at a loss. Not in your favor. Limit is 9,999 degrees. Afterwards, the game crashes. You're not joking. I believe you. I also believe I'm very likely to not encounter any kind of... Any kind of point where that's going to be uh, relevant. All right, so how long till we encounter space? What are you? Dreco. It's like a lizard. Um, so there's abyssalite here that I can't mine through. So we go up here. Chlorine. Do I want to if I can't avoid the chlorine? I'm not actually intending to do something with this geyser. It's just conveniently in the way. Uh, hydrogen. Actually, I don't mind going this way. And 
forwarding the chlorine in lieu of hydrogen. I can't really avoid the chlorine very well, can I? No, it's unavoidable. However, I can block it off. Um, we go up here. So much to do. Is that done? It is done. So this needs to go first. We do... Oxy fern down here. That way we can actually get some amount of oxygen in this area. Thank you, thank you. Do, 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 do. Need to plant the weeds for it. Yeah, that seems nice. With a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen, make boom and create water in this game. I don't know if there's any kind of alchemy or chemistry uh, interactions in this game. I don't think there is. At least I believe there isn't, but... I know none of these things. I can only imagine chlorine isn't that bad of a gas to have around, but like... I would rather not if I can avoid it. This is all abyssalite, I can't mine through that. Not yet. The weirdest emergent non-phenomenon in this game to you is lack of convection. Lack of convection. The, there is heat transfer, if that's what you're asking. Or if that's what you're pointing out. I think I just pick is science and go because I don't really need any of these. Let's work on getting additional science. I guess then we'll start the decor tree at some point. Yes, but gases don't have their density dependent on heat, so heat doesn't rise. No convection, only conduction. That's true. If you pick heated oxygen and drop it in another location, will it still be hot? Yes. You always notice it when you drill into lava, very counterintuitive for you. Yeah, that's uh, that's fair. Oh, that's where this went. I was wondering. I heard it got placed, and I couldn't figure out where that went. Uh, do we have any slime? I don't believe we have any slime. We do not have slime. Okay. Yeah, it's one of those... That seems like one of those mechanics that becomes counter... That's It's very counterintuitive because that's not how the world works. It's the same kind of thing in Planet Side. When I remember when I was learning to fly and how to aim in the game. Uh, that uh, momentum transfer wasn't a thing. And um, it was very confusing to me how momentum transfer wasn't a thing. It took me forever to unlearn that in game. Well, a long time, at least. Research complete. So many hatchling. All right. Um, I guess I can just put a whole bunch of power batteries here. 
smart batteries. I need refined metal. I don't know that I want to touch refined metal right now. We'll just add jumbo batteries. Eh, I don't need two. It's just going to be more power loss. I already have two jumbos. Did I place the oxalite? Uh, oxalite sublimates just by existing, so I don't have to worry about it. Polluted, there's a lot of polluted oxygen up here. Okay. If the game completely obeyed laws of physics, then we couldn't survive in the long run due to the pesky heat issue. Yeah, uh, that's a thing. Alright, so now we've got a very small amount of oxygen down here, so we should slowly begin to move down here and I can start expanding. Let's just dig this way as well. There's not a whole lot of chlorine in here. This is a vacuum? Interesting. Research complete. We've unlocked the next layer of science, which is not going to happen. Realistic controls of motion always a pain. Uh, I don't know. I'm so used to it that it's just intuitive, I guess. Eating raw mealworms. <laughs> you lost your first colony because pressure killed your farms. That's... I don't know... Air pressure to, to 10,000. Did you like... I guess it's, I guess it's going to be different for each plant. <laughs> Seal off that area and install the, uh, the filters. I, I don't care. Like, I, I, I just... I don't care. How are we looking over here? I don't actually know that I want to breach into that with the slime lung, but let's... We should be safe enough to start exploring down here somewhere. Can you delete oxygen or other gases? I can vent them into space. That counts. What's the priority button? All the way out across the keyboard. You can just use a rock crusher. I don't know that I want to do that right now, but yes. Um, that's going to be time consuming. Oh, what, what was that? Stop it. Alright, so he should be able to breathe, like, as he's walking up this ladder. Yeah, that'll it'll work out. You can destroy gases. As far as I can tell, you can destroy everything. You only use one mod for this game. You make an airlock, an actual airlock. No gas seepage when opened. Uh, that's not how airlocks work. Airlocks are a room. An airlock is not a door, it's a room. Where you go into the room and then you um, vacuum out all the air from it. So there's no seepage, which you can do in this game. Uh, I haven't tried, so I don't know if you can actually do it in this game. But it seems like you can do it in this game, because there's the mechanics to do so. If you vent oxygen into space, couldn't you superheat some oxygen in an enclosed space and vent it to your feet? Yes. I could also do that with objects, like materials. Like superheat some gold and just drop it on the surface. 
And then um, I'm going to transfer its seed away. Ooh, new skill point. 42 scientists. Improved farming, please. So next level we'll get critter ranching. And go from there. Uh, maybe he shouldn't be our rancher. He should be our farmer. Probably. Okay. Going to use water to make very cheap airlock. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, I don't see why I couldn't just have a water path. Like, a, just a path that goes underwater. Like, something like this, and just the rest of the path is just over here. And so the dupes run across it. And then there's just no separation in air. Like, you can already see that effect going on here. With this, we have oxygen over here at a perfect equilibrium at 500 grams in every tile. Then over here is a disaster. Uh, power use. We're not close to it. We're not close to it. And we're digging down. Hello, new dupe. Not actually a new dupe. Uh, Brian. <laughs> okay, um, I guess we're taking it because the alternative is to take one of these food consumers. We're like barely holding on to our food. Moral of stories and curses ruins all the tiles I touch. Oh no. So it would seem. Uh, this is all CO2 down here. Chlorine is lighter than CO2. So we should see chlorine. This is oxygen. Polluted oxygen. And slime lung. There's no escaping this. There is escaping this. We can go through the physical slime. Okay. You know, I could take some of this oxalate and just shove it down there. That would probably work out. Never mind, we've got the fern is doing fern things. It's got some oxygen down here. So it's got some natural gas down here. Who tooted? Still have no exposure to the slime lung, but we will get exposure to the slime lung. Hopefully it won't be that big a deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. When we get slime lung exposure, we can, can deal with it there. Uh, organic. Uh, we haven't actually picked up slime, so it's not available here. New science. High pressure valves. I really think it doesn't matter which science we go for at this point. In so much as we pick one. Did I take a dupe of bad gas? I, d I did. I did. He had such good stats. And also, gas seems like a benefit. It's just free material. Convert some land into farms. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Just don't know where I want to do it. I think probably over here. Probably over here. Right, let's get rid of this electric girl for the moment. We'll do farms over here. Farm, farm, farm. 
additional farms. Oh, about 10 more farms. We are slowly increasing our calories. Can't dupes be fruit tier? I genuinely don't know. Because, like, when a dupe dies, can I not reuse it? Reuse its matter? It's like everything else is reusable. Might be time for hydroponic farms. That's what I wanted to do. Liquid pump. Does this generate heat? This generates 2k DUs of heat. <clears throat> no longer excited about hydroponic farms. One thing I don't like. Is there... Is there a way to put water into pipes? Is that possible? That's one thing I genuinely don't know. You guys are welcome to answer that question. Like, manually take a water bottle and put it into pipe. Like, if I were to find polluted water here, can I put it into a pipe? Because I've not found a way of putting water into a pipe without electricity. And that makes me sad. Makes me very sad. What's the advantage of planter boxes or with the farm towels? Uh, one goes in the floor, one goes on top of the floor. Oh, there isn't. Okay, that's saddening to me. Rad bolts. I have to figure out how to use those. Because I know the next tier of science requires them. Alright, let me... Deodorize this area. Seems to be a fair bit of ochre going around. The heat generated for the pump is quite small. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's still, it's, it's going to add up. Especially as I get close to this madness. I don't even have a pistol light. That's so much iron ore. Okay. Ooh, what is this? cold is this the legendary cold on the other side of the abyssalite okay <laughs> never had yeah i'm just trying to be super cautious around temperature right now because um i actually don't have any way of getting rid of it and I can't even vent it off anywhere else outside of my biome because every other biome is hotter. <laughs> so I don't know what's over here, but I want to find out. Because, like, if I can get over here and I can get some cooling going... Then I'm in a happy, happier spot. Honestly, though, I, I think I'm going to have to do the pump anyways, just because I need to not have, I need my people not to do water. Well, these don't, these don't need water, so I don't have to worry about it for the meal wood, but when I, I, vote, I guess I move from there. Still need electricity. Yeah, I'm not using enough electricity for it to matter yet, but that will change. All right, Andromeda Fallen gets improved tinkering. Yes, bonus machinery usage. Get on that wheel. Andromeda Fallen is our current uh, rat in a maze. You should play a frozen map, then your only concern is how to get your base warm again. That seems like a far easier way of doing things. We've got hydrogen here, so there's a 
trickle of chlorine somewhere. It's probably coming down here. I, I really want to know what's up there. <clears throat> I guess I should just knock into this one. Not go over here. It's cold up there? It is, and I am interested to know what's up here. I have to go through this warmer biome, but that's acceptable. We have a balm lily, which grows in chlorine atmospheres, which is horrifying. Uh, I think I'm going to actually uproot you. And, uh, look at this. Get a little bit of chlorine in their eyes, but they'll be fine. Put you on six, and then we'll move you out of there. Lock this off, so it doesn't our oxygen doesn't get stuck up there too much. New automation unlocks the wattage sensor. Hydrogen generator. Oh, da, moving on. All right. We want to rescue this, and then we will build around it. Hmm. It's too hot here for these to grow. Too cold here for these to grow. Okay. Is the oxyfern the only plantable thing that converts CO2 to O2? It's the only thing I have found. And it actually does so at the cost of 4,000 dirt per cycle and 19 kilograms of water, which is not insignificant at all. It might be better to have them all wild grown. That way they don't cost anything. Of course, they also produce a quarter of the oxygen, which is unacceptable right now. Let's see if someone digging three. You can't get to the uh, cold biome. Is that so? Is there no... Oh. Oh, that is all abyssalite over here. Well, at least I want to know. Chlorine. There's liquid chlorine at negative 63 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this is an extremely cold biome then. I just have to knock through it and then pipe. So that will be my source of cold. What's going on over here? Okay. Carbon dioxide, that's gonna build up. Uh, let's put a... What are you here? The germ's like, yeah, that's polluted water for sure. Alright. I want to see what that biome looks like a little bit more. But it's definitely, we have one tile that, ter that tells us that is a cold biome, and that makes me happy. <laughs> Suddenly everything turns cold, gotta figure out how to make more heat. Making more heat is pretty easy. Turns out. tile in further igneous rock at negative 60 copper ore at negative 60 
<laughs> Breeze heavily with these words. Yeah, that would be uh, that'd be nice. All right, is that done? Yes, new science complete. Uh, do that. Plastic stuff. Let's see if we can't figure out what's in here next. There's actually water heater powered by electricity that can heat huge volumes of water. Cold's never a problem. Yeah, that, that seems to be the running trend. Cold isn't an issue. Like, it, it can be an issue, but it's an easily solved issue. Hot, on the other hand, is an issue. Because you can't get rid of heat, you can only make it. That at least seems to be what I've encountered. I don't know if that's actually the case. Where is tech for mining abyssalite? Right up here. Super hard digging, and we have someone that's on their way? We already have access to it. Okay. So we can mine through it. We're still playing coming in clutch. Um, I do actually need to increase our morale here. You get the miner's hat. King Benjai gets the engineer hat. Andromeda gets the carrying hat. 42 scientists gets science hat. Okay. Yay, hat. Okay. Hint on how to get more morale? I would prefer not. Um, I'll figure it out along the way. Slime has been picked up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I can actually make it to the cold biome. I just have to get there alive. Alright, please stop leaking chlorine. Oh well. I thought I set that up. I would I was wrong. Mirth seeds. Machinery, medicine, strength, strength excavation. I do need a doctor. I think I need cuisine first. I think a cuisine person has to be my next. That way I can actually solve the food shortage. Like, I, my food is okay as it is, but I need more. And if I'm going to get another person, they have to be able to feed everyone. How is stress at 0%? Efficiency! All right. It's actually a fairly substantial amount of chlorine in there. Liquid chlorine. Oh no. Alright, so if there's cold up there, I am less concerned about uh, spending my... Oh, hello. Oh, we need... Alright, so morale. Bedroom, barracks, latrine. Uh, let's get an actual latrine here. I don't know that I can actually... 
actually build that? How big is the latrine? Maximum. Okay, that's fine. We'll have a latrine going. We have barracks. We can't do bedrooms yet. Mess hall. I can do. And I can put a mess hall. I guess right here for now. I don't think I'm going to need more than two bathrooms. So I need a recreation station and for this is going to have to be moved when we get one more duplicate but I can live there for the time being okay Please stop leaking. Well, I guess there's no more chlorine to leak. <laughs> Recreation right next to the stinky bathroom. Uh, it is what it is. I don't want to put it over here because this is, I'm going to basically immediately be exp expanding this. In preparation for a new dupe. A cooking based dupe. I don't need any of this power generation. Furniture, cots. Okay. I love the smell of toilets while you eat. I know, right? Isn't it great? Dupes complain about more <laughs> low morale, so you build their dining room literally next to the bathroom. Dupes stop complaining if their morale doesn't increase. Oh no. Okay. Alright, nice. Let me continue to seal the room. What happens if I... Oh, that'll just pop through the wall. That's what it'll do. We'll just live with it. further and I guess we just knock through the abyssal light water placed I do want a park but we'll have to deal with that later stable greenhouse power plant hospital massage clinic Latrine is going to be good. Washroom, very good. But not happening yet. Oh, I should probably... I, I can probably do a washroom and it would... Yeah, let's, let's do a washroom. I can, I can get away with that. Uh, but first, we're going to do... This. Can I mop this? I can. Sweet. That way we can do this guy here. And I can move plumbing pitcher to here. Just deal with it. Is that iron ore? There is iron ore. It exists. Hello? Hello? 
All right, so that will be the next project. You love this game. They should have called it Negative Externalities. Oh, no. Mess hall and bathroom beside each other. You mean the conference room and suggestion box? Oh, no. Okay, so we do have a non-insignificant amount of chlorine about the base now. I uh, can't find it, but it exists somewhere. All right. Hey, you guys go over here. Advanced combustion complete. I I just have to let the dupes do things. I can't. I just have to let it. I just have to let it go. We've got too much stuff queued up. They will go and they will do things. Nothing else for it. Hello there, Andrew. Welcome to the chat. So how's it going, guys? Science men doing science things. <laughs> Deactivate the water dispenser. Still counts for the room bonus, but doesn't spend water. It's actually a good idea. Alright, so we have officially run out of water here. Oh, nope. I guess that counts for water. Another Andromeda sleeping. <laughs> Queuing addict as well. Yeah. The worst part for you not queuing. I could queue more, but I would have to elevate everything to level six here before queuing more. And I'm just not, not into that. Like there's no benefit for me to do so. Like the, the closest thing that I should elevate is probably this guy over here. Just so that this gets done. So I have actually have access to water. Otherwise, I don't have access to water. Uh, let's mop this up. Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, problem. Okay. Thank you. Could have been bad. Yeah, it, playing with the priorities, like, it's, it's not worth it. Like, just you have other things to do. Any chance I'll do a War Pips campaign? The War Pips campaign was not all that. It really wasn't that exciting. Uh, like it's super simple. It's just like skirmishes over and over again. All right, so now I can put you back to six. You can walk on top of ladders if you want to switch those tiles out. I don't. Well, to be fair, I probably should. Ladders make great scaffolding. Yes, yes, they do. Now, the reason I want them to be towels, uh, tiles there is so I can do things like dig out this area and not leave all the stuff on the, on the bottom. I can build it such that I can have my uh, dupes go down there eventually. Just not right now. Okay, so we are slowly increasing our food counts here. Slowly. 
Plus, it looks better. That it does. That it does. Alright, so this door needs to be opened at all times. This door needs to be open at all times. I'm keeping this one closed so that the shine bugs don't get in someone's room. I say as if there's a... I think I need to prioritize this to seven. That way... Because uh, if I get the shine, if the shine bug gets in there, hypothermia. From 22 to 22, 23 degrees. Okay. Okay. I should, I should go away soon, unless, uh, germs? No. Okay. I guess it's because they're in water. Alright. Okay, here's what it is. nearly complete okay so one more there and then we will have that one done and then we can continue our exploration after doing this mm. let them do their thing they'll be fine go ahead sleep off the hypothermia all right so now we have access to water again my concern is that we may pollute this because people can get germs on them and as they walk through they may sh spread their germs into this water. Which would not be ideal, but I, I guess it is what it is for now. At least until we consume enough water for it to go down below the level. Does chlorine gas kill the germs? Haven't the foggiest idea. Probably. Alright, so now we shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. Next up on the docket, we have... Going up or going down? I want to go down, I think, first. Because I don't know what's over here. And I am curious... Research complete. New construction options available. All right, you, sir, time to do... Do science on all of that art, please. go do this. You did. You did. I... Come on. How close do you have to get to the unknown to see it? Like, it's... It's... It's, it's not letting me build in it. Do I have to go over here? What if... What if... I have a duplicate. That's gonna get him killed. Okay. I was gonna say, like, what if I were to just have a duplicate stand here and then dig out underneath it and have him drop? Alright. New principle. Do we have a cuisine guy? No. No, we don't. Uh, I guess I can get some sand. Um, 
That's cool. That's cool. Let's click the door to magic into working. I don't. Believe you. Alright, what did I need? Is this done? It is done. Sweet. So we should have two different rooms here, each of which gives a morale bonus of a kind. Great, great. Love to see it. Uh, uh, why are you here? Okay. How did you get in here? Oh, it'll grow old and die. Eventually. They may need a light source. No, no, that's not what's going on here. They just aren't allowed to path into this. Which means we're going to have to go through the slime lung. Yeah, there's no way to avoid it. Well, I want to know. So let's... going to happen here is all this oxygen is going to fly up. Oh, we already have some slime lung involved. Let's not increase our slime lung exposure because it's probably because of this guy. Yeah. Someone brought slime lung up on themselves or on a piece of slime. I don't want to deal with that. All right, in that case, uh, what to do next? I do have water. Hazard protection suits. Yeah, that's not going to happen in the foreseeable future. All right, so crops, I think I need to, I think, yeah, I need dupes. I need dupes and I need expansionist policies. Plumbing, yeah, plumbing would be good. Plumbing would be very good. That way I can at least get these toilets going. Um, once I do plumbing, once I set, so let's, let's work this out a little bit more. I set up plumbing. I need water. How do I get water? Because the water I have here is very quickly being used for things. I guess I could use non-potable water for this plumbing, which is fair enough. Do I need clean water to go through the toilets? I already have a good one, Andrew. Good luck out there. Because I may need clean water, which is a very different experience. Okay. Dump polluted water into here. Just let the pockers suffer in polluted water, I guess. Oh, hey, they were actually coming up to do this of their own accord. I didn't have to tell them. Okay. How fast is the record for ending yourself in this game? I imagine fairly quickly. This uranium ore here, I don't like it. Because I want to expand here and do my water filtration stuff here. Instead, I guess I can do it up here. That's so much polluted water. There's so much slime lung. 
Okay, this slime lung is dying out quite quickly, actually. There's chlorine down here. It's killing the slime lung. That's nice. Nuclear power? How would unlock that technology? It's on the list of things to do eventually. So much iron ore. Ah, I found out why it's cold up here. We found space. So, somewhat less exciting than I had hoped. We got vacuum. Actually, this may not be. Sp oh no, that's Regolith. It's gotta be space, yeah? That is infinite cold. I just want to be careful about how I do this. I want, like, exactly one gap in the, uh, abyssalite. Which may mean I want to adjust this, because this goes directly under this neutronium, which I can't. If I adjust my entire line here, over to here, go through this water, go up here, around this, go straight up here. We can have this guy here, our main elevator shaft here. And we can start... I guess not right next to the uh, printing pod. I can shift closer this way as well. Alright, so what if... Oh, but the abyssalite's here. Alright, I, I need to pick a spot between these two, preferably right in the middle, like right here, which is ooh, right next to the printing pod, which I cannot move. Um, I playing the Space Style DLC? I am, I am. I guess I could have two different elevator shafts. Sounds like a... If I move this to the side, might dig into the Abyssalite a little bit. I think that's a better idea. Okay. Let's start planning a little bit. I want at least three. So I'll do here and here. And then we go all the way up like so. And I'm just going to punch through everything for this. Right, and this goes down. We're doing some uh, world-grade terraforming here. Okay. This will continue to go down. Later. For now, let's move our ration box up here closer to food. Closer to the food. Alright. Nice. Am I playing the Space Style DLC? Yes, yes, I am. I now have the technology to dig through these tiles. Not the button I wanted. Okay. 
very close. Very close to uh, solving problems. Research complete. Hey, we don't we're not getting splashy feet anymore. Okay. So to deal with the water, yeah, open you, open you. To deal with the water, hello, what we can do is we can start getting plumbing ready to go. My god. So many things to click on. Science is going so very quickly. All right. So I'm going to need water filters of a kind. Water filtration, which is... Filtration specifically, which is here. Produces clean water from polluted water using sand. Produces polluted dirt, I can work with that. Uh, let's do another water source here so if we put the water the polluted water into here and then I take the polluted water and I put it where okay, I'm gonna clean it I want another valve so this will be our pure clean water and I need another place to put water I might end up putting the the used. Mm. I can take from here, put here, return to here. Let me think. Did I forget to announce the stream again. I did. Let me do that right now. This is supposed to hold the slime. Okay. How has my day been? Very well. <sighs> New research. Home luxuries. Don't mind if I do. Alright, so how do I want to do this? I need... I think I just need to just knock all this out and terraform it all is what I need to do. Which is going to be a lot of slime long exposure. If we have clean water here. I need to create another clean water pool. The, the uranium ore. Is there a motivation for me to not... Is there a reason that I don't just bury this somewhere? Let's try it. Nearly impenetrable. Uh, it's got the same difficulty as Abyssalite, so I can do this. And if I take this and I just put this somewhere else. Like over here. That sounds like a good time to me. Alright, all radioactive materials go in here for now. Now, we mine this. Take the lead, we take the uranium, we go from there. Alright, so high priority. 
you on degree six. Degree any more. It's really not doing much. Okay. New printables available. Twirl radiation. Okay. It didn't tell me anything. Alright. We have decreased bathroom use speed. I don't know that I want that character. They have rocketry and cooking, which is just not super, super nice. They do have increased strength, but they also have a decreased bathroom use speed. Is that a good enough? I should probably do something like cooking and... Am I going to hold out here? I think I'm going to hold out here. It's like these are actually not... Not great. Hmm. Like this is food, which is nice. Like piloting? But why though? I think we get the eggs this time. Um, let me think. Cooking goes well with nothing. So I probably want like cooking and construction would be the ideal. Or something that isn't as bad. We'll just grab the eggs for now. And wait till we get a better duplicant available. Like, I don't just want usable duplicants. I want good duplicants. Alright, so this guy gets... Lead. That was refined lead. Uh, raw material, metal ore, uranium of the high priority. Hello, Andromeda. Uh, you're alive. Currently, you are basically our um, basically our runner because you are the machine operator. You operate the machines very effectively. Hello there, Shine Bug, Sun Nymph. Are these just... So, Shine Bugs from 10 to 40 C. Shine Bugs from 10 to 40 C. Coral Bug, 10 to 40 C. As far as I can tell, they don't actually do anything. Royal bug. They're probably just decor. Floating decor. Causing them to absorb light rather than to emit it. So this actually does something. Okay. You get it by feeding them meat and abyssalite. Radiant nymph. Okay. No, so you know, yeah, we haven't had a loss yet. We haven't had anyone go away. Keyword yet, exactly. All right, so this thing should be emanating death, right? No. Well, that's convenient. You can power solar panels with shine bugs. Can you? That's actually kind of good. I don't know if that's good or not, but that sounds like a that sounds like an infinite so power source. Mm 
Hmm. Okay. Um, what do we work on next? We're still farming. This can give me some water manipulation here. I love to see it. Giant bug reactor very friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Better use space than bugs. Probably. I should be able to get some more duplicate skills, yeah? Mild morale improvement. Alright, so improve carrying capacity because you will be our mechatronics. King Benjai will be our engineer. And hard digger, super hard digger. That will cause a problem. Can't level you up yet. You can power solar panels with any light source. It's just that only shine bugs generate enough light without costing more power than you get. Does that mean I can put it... Where's the... I could put it right here. Generate light. Dim light. Very dim light. Light bugs give us so much more light. You improve it being an engineer? Thought you would. Thought you would indeed. Textile production. We can now make carpet. And art. And clothes. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. <sighs> Hello there, Ferds. Welcome to the chat. Forty-two scientists learns a new skill. Critter ranching. Yes. All right, you, sir, have a second thing to do besides just science, and it is critter ranching, and also farming. Wow. He wants farming, and this is a character that could get a lot of good stuff. All right, so first off, we do. We need to get this out of here. We need to move this out of here. Uh, let's do... Shine Nymph Egg. Upgrade your priority. So we'll be busy. Yep. Let's get you out of here. This thing will live for two more cycles and will like not likely to produce an egg in that time so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, this on the other hand needs to do hatchling eggs. Shovel egg. Okay. And you need hatches and hatchlings here. And you what do we want to feed you? Dirt seems like a good idea to me. You eat dirt. When are we going to make a particle accelerator? We're a little bit of ways away from that. Wrangle. What just happened? Wrangle. Wrangle. 
This can go up to a size 96, yeah? 92, 96, there we go. I'm going to replace this because there is slime there. And I want it. I want it gone, specifically. out here. This will do. Research complete. Next we do logic or I'm probably not going to use that for now. We'll do the hazard suits. Gas storage. You want it. I want this. I want this gone. Hashtag don't try this with romantic interest. Oh, no. You're just waiting for a disaster. Aren't we all? I have so much stuff queued up. Speaking of disaster, you guys want to go check out what's in here? Like that's chlorine, so we're, or that's polluted oxygen, so I'm gonna have a lot to clean up here. But let's go exploring. There's something in here. What are these? Unknown. Okay. I just sweep up the muck root. I, it's fine. Outside of stable. Oh, I need to get this go. Um, I need to put priorities. Okay, tidying. Don't need. King Benjamin operating. Farming. Forty-two scientists can do ranching, so he will do ranching as well. Okay. Let's increase the priorities for supplying and storing over here. For Andromeda, which can do a lot of our sweeping. And be the infrastructure maintenance guy. Storage, mop, disinfect, repair, repair, supply, clean, empty, sweep. Okay, yeah. We don't have a good constructor. Here comes the disaster. Uh, so, yeah, very likely. Because now the slime lung will... Oh, always oh, going quick. Um... Put you on priority seven. Uh, you don't need to be built. You can do this. Okay. Do that real quick. Dies in non polluted O2. Yeah. Hopefully, this stops a lot of the uh, slime lung. I don't think it does because polluted oxygen is not polluted because it has germs or something else in it. It's polluted because the game says so. So even if you clean it, it still comes out with germs in it. Yucky lungs, oh no. 
the options and enable priorities. Enabling proximity settings tells you duplicants you always choose the closest, most urgent errand to perform. When disabled, duplicants will choose between two high priority errands based on a hidden priority hierarchy instead. Enabling proximity helps cut down on travel time in areas with lots of high priority errands and is useful for large colonies. That seems like a good plan. I can manually increase the priority counts if there's something urgent I need. If I need them to do this instead of something over here, then I can just increase that. Which is what I've been doing anyway, so... I can deconstruct this. No one's going to track the slime lung. It is around. The slime lung is contained. And security door. Oh, hello. Yeah, you see, there's no reason I couldn't have just gone down into that. I was super tempted to drop the ladder, like, have my guy stand in this clay and just drop him down into it. But, alright, inspect. Do journal entry. Been so tired lately. You've probably spent around the last three nights sleeping at my desk and have used the lab's safety shower to bathe twice this month. We're technically on schedule, but for some reason, Director Stern has been breathing down my neck to get these new products ready for market. Normally, I'd be mad about the pressure on my work, but something in the director's voice tells me that time is of the essence. Employee processing. Taking fingerprints and voice sample. Bioengineering safety security sample. And this is one that I've already read. Okay. We'll rummage through you, rummage through you, rummage through you. Colony achievement unlocked. Ghost of Gravitas. Sweet. Alright, what's going on here? Yeah, that's understandable. Plastic tile. One of these days I'll learn how to get plastic. Today is not that day. You got you for yourself. So can I go down here now? Kind of. Okay. You guys go grab... I'm sorry, what? Just that was the printer's printer sound. Blueprints. Alright, do we have someone good in... No. No, we don't. Um, honestly, some of these... couple of these people are pretty alright. However... I'm gonna go with ice. Ice is a big yes. What I'm going to do... So I'm going to immediately put a storage bin over here. I could use a bunch of different storage bins just around. Just realize these are still here and people are eating off of this instead of the, the big meal room. Nice of you to drop by. Hey! Is that reed fiber next to the brain machine? It is a thimble reed, yes. Neural 
Vaxillator. What are you? See if we can salvage anything. View entry. We are now reliably printing healthy living subjects, though all have exhibited unusual qualities as a result of the cloning process. Unusual vocalizations, benign growths, and missing appendages have been seen in all subjects thus far to varying degrees of severity. It seems that bypassing or accelerating juvenile juvenility halts certain critical stages of development. Brain function, however, appears typical. They also seem quite happy. Okay. New science opportunities available. Go. All right, sweet. What is this? What does it do? Primary element neutronium? Huh. Hmm. Welp. Guess there's only really one way to find out. Sitting here reading chat as if I'm going to get a real answer. Alright, 42 scientists, you are the scientists. Do science things. It, it can't be good. It can't be good is what it is. Um, let's pause science for the moment, so we can go do that eventually. Give an answer. You you did give an answer. It's uh, one of the few. Should I say one of the many? Andromeda has unlocked electrical engineering. We're still playing has unlocked super digging. I should probably not be spending all my morale on that yet. Okay. There's no irrigation. Everything is on fire. Everything is always on fire. Hello. When the dupe gets in, make sure to hit the button. Also, it's good. Oh, jeez. Well, way to uh, spoil the surprise. Thank you, Andromeda. Doing something. Complete neural process. What do you signs is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. Receive the regenerative trait. Plus 20 health per cycle. Okay. Can I do it again? There are no charges left in this facility. This is a thing. Okay, so I actually have to... I actually have to, uh... Go create a thing for that. Alright, good to know. Hmm. 
Hmm. Still your radium up there, make it go away, please. We're filling up the polluted water. Please give plus one. Just if you do this, then is this seeping? It's going to. All right, so now all of these, where are they? Here, please. Where my hatches go? Got a bunch of them all over the place. You need to collect ice, please. Liquefiable it was. Ice. Thank you. There you guys are. Wrangle you. Wrangle you. I didn't see it because it was hiding. It was in the ground doing Zerg things. Living in my floors. Yeah. Yeah, I... I, I have noticed. Probably don't want to wrangle. How many of these are here? A lot of them. It's like seven of them. In various stages. I probably don't want to wrangle all of these. Because they will populate. Of their own accord. Alright, new research time. Go. Go back to doing research, please. Thank you. Alright. Yeah, they're already cramped. Okay, so... This is understandable. Too many eggs, not enough space. Alright, so we still have a whole mess of commands of orders queued up. A whole mess of them. It's just a matter of um, time. Which dupe is the imposter? Oh no, they're among us already. Alright, so I still think space will be our primary uh, source of life. Because there's a whole lot of death everywhere. whole lot of death everywhere. Heat death. It's a very different connotation and meaning outside of this. these very quickly. Space doesn't have passive cooling. Does it not? So it seems to be... It seems to suck everything out infinitely. And cool things down by doing so. Farming time. Long commutes. Well, yeah, I've been sending them off into the, the wilderness in every direction. So how does one do brain things? 
How deep into the mad science is it? It's probably... At the end, I would imagine. I don't know. Hmm. We still have this uranium over here, which is not being dug yet. Work in progress, I suppose. but worth it, I think. Okay. I've, I've just got to hands off and let them build things because there's nothing else for it. Wait, how did this get in here? I don't want to kill it, but it needs to not be here. Did I never get? Did I never make it leave? Oh, I left the I left the egg in there, didn't I? Oh no! Oh, hello. Your might not be strong enough. Might not be strong enough to mine it. It is. It is. I have several mine. I have plenty of miners capable of doing so. It's just um, not high on the priority. I th I think I need to. I think I need to. I think I need to do this. Unfortunately. We already have another egg here. What is this button? Combat. Okay. Worth. Why are you picking patchling eggs? Okay. Stop it. drop-off point for the uh, shine bugs. That's not a mechanic. Slime lung is creeping. You're covered in slime lung. Oh no. these over here and stopping all this from getting through. At least trying to, anyways. Hmm. Slime lung isn't released until after you mine it. Yeah, that's just not true. Very, very much so not true. I just have to, once it's exposed to the air, it starts seeping. It's true unless it's bugs out. Oh no. If only, if only. What happened? Where? Uh. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
What's going on here? Fertilization. Just need dirt. I don't really have a planter, do I? Farming. Yeah. He's okay. I did to put him to one higher priority here. Want to be higher prior than outside of stable. Why is this not? Oh, too big. I'm sorry. This has been too long. I this needs to start sooner than later. Construct all the things. Alright, we've got a whole mess of hatchlings now. Everywhere. Alright, so now we're still playing, doing some farming. Thought I only played forts. Have you never played video games before? <laughs> Usually start with 10 dupes day one. Uh, I'm not touching mods until I actually have played the game some amount. Food time for everyone. Hey! Alright, blueprints. Do we get a go? Why are you like this? Alright, food person. No food person. Okay. My god. Jeez, this, this guy. Science excavation. I mean, athletics is just okay. Algae time. Need more dirt, do I? I got some sedimentary rock. Clear new. Dirt. I really don't. At all. Like, at all. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have more material around. It's just not pressing matter. In the slightest. Everything is on fire. Why are you like this? More dirt for the dirt god. Yeah, yeah. Hello there, Andromeda. Coming in with the support. Thank you so much. <sighs> did this leak out yet? It did. We got some more water. And mild cool. Whatever that's worth. Alright. Hello. Okay, so in order to do, I still haven't, this is still going. There's so much stuff for the dupes to do. Okay. Oh, we're not exploring anymore. We're not building up here. So it's just a matter of maintaining these things over here for the time being. I think one of the things that's slowing down a lot of this progression is... We have four dupes, and one of them is constantly doing science and nothing else. Which basically just means we have three dupes to handle f four dupes of work. I'll use more dupes. Yeah, we, we actually have the food, I think, for one more dupe. All I need is a dupe that can handle food.
Is it dirt? We're not playing Skyblock. I can use a free update by using coal generators instead of hamster wheel. I'm scared to do that at this point in time because we are surrounded by hot on all sides. And if I don't have a means of cooling, then I'm going to suffer. Going to suffer greatly. And my means of cooling is up here, up these not yet constructed ladders. So. That's a thing. What are you? A puffed... What are you? Domestic domesticatable critter. It eats polluted oxygen. And ex... Oh god, it creates slime. Okay. Actually, that's a... It also eats chlorine. It also eats oxygen. It basically solidifies... Oh, this is a variant of it. So it solidifies... Oh, jeez. Prince? This is amazing. 30 kg of oxygen to 3... Oh, that's not... Never mind. That's kg to grams. That just means that this one... 50 kg to less than 50 kg slime. This is 30 kg... Uh, polluted oxygen to 3 kg slime, which is not a good conversion ratio by comparison. Squeaky puffed... Does bleached oh, stone at a no. better ratio from chlorine? Dense puffed. Have I died there. Of slime lung yet? Uh, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Please no. Yeah, the, the princes seem like to be terrible. Oxygen to oxalite seems like a much better ratio here. I don't know that I would want any of those, but. Hatchling, it's snoring. Research complete. Yeah, this has a 100% chance of producing a puff, a prince egg, which is really rather unfortunate. So it doesn't seem to be any way of stopping that from happening. Check out the beetles. You put them on a farm, all the plants grow faster. Interesting. That's, uh, what are you? Tending to a grub fruit plant, both genders of the divergent display the same behaviors. However, the grub grub possesses slightly more tiny facial hair, which helps the pollinating plants and simulates faster growth. Okay. This consumes sulfur and produces sucrose. This consumes sulfur and produces mud. This consumes sucrose and produces mud. 20 to 10, 50 to 5,000, 30 to 30. So 2 to 1 to sucrose, and then 1 to 1 to mud. Whereas it's the same outcome regardless. Sulfur to... It's just better to just feed these. So I guess we could just not... I guess I can get a bunch of grub grubs and... do the 
grub fruit plants. So if I'm specifically doing grub fruit farm. Okay. Got any new material here? No. Moving on. I can also use the sugar in cooking. If only I could cook! We haven't unlocked that technology yet. Yeah, definitely always having someone on the generator is not helping. I am just concerned about using. Uh, are we going to get yucky along every time I go through there? Yes. I'm just concerned about using the generators because the, the generators produce heat. I don't have a solution for it. I don't like building things if I don't have a solution for them. If you can't tell. I can just expand the uh, current system. Is this done yet? Oh my god, after all these years. Okay. Life is all about taking risks. Take, I mean, I'm taking risks. I'm just planning ahead. plans, because I'm not good at the game. Exponential complexity is fun. It can be, yes. I, I tend to agree. We have so many work orders to do. We're still playing, doing the hard mining work. Taking out any and all things in their way. We have no more skills available. Excellent. Sometimes you take a lost leader to turn a profit later. Well, you see, that's what I wanted to do. Like, I'm sitting here waiting for a... Waiting to get a duplicate that can actually cook. Like, I don't have a... A path of progress forward if I don't get someone that doesn't cook. I mean, I could get someone that doesn't cook just to have another person, but then we're going to be suffering up until we get someone that can cook. And that just kind of is unfortunate. It's possible, but it wouldn't solve the problem. It doesn't help that most of the duplicates that we've been getting have been less than mediocre. Mm -hmm. Anyone can cook, they just don't get the plus one more. They don't, no, they, they, it's literally a skill requirement. You cannot cook. Oh, hello. Oh, you are dumb, aren't you? It's okay. You are still trapped. Why do I trust you to do things? They can be a manual laborer until they learn to uh, get the cooking skill. Uh, that they can. That's going to take a long time, though. Hello there, XCZ. Welcome to the chat. Why so many ladders? 
Uh, these these are for uh, base planning the base, so I have a pattern that I don't forget. And I'm in the middle of changing the pattern, adjusting it over. Which is a very slow process because we don't have a whole lot of man hours available in the day. No bot. Uh, we have several bots in chat. Uh, we don't have a follow which command because uh, you can just click on the name. That was a feature rolled into basic Twitch functionality several years ago. It's like having two-year-olds as your main force. <laughs> yes. Yes, I uh, figured that one out. Does any disaster happen when the circuit's overloaded? Um, explosions. Does that count as a disaster? I don't usually count them as disasters. And they're just explosions. On. Okay, so are these guys still cramped? Can't tell, because they've been turned into meat. At least they're... Nope, you are not cramped anymore. Sweet! Excellent. Okay. Get on it. So at this point... Uh, I want another dupe. A cooking dupe. I'm gonna get another dupe by the end of this day. How am I doing so well? It's called planning. See all these ladders? It's called planning. Did it make compost? No. What does this do? Reduces polluted dirt and other compostables into dirt. Produces heat. Produces dirt. You can live with that, yeah? It's only a matter of time before these plants stop functioning. Oh yeah. We're already at that point where these are... We're going to have to deal with... Okay, we're already hitting the point where we're going to have to deal with temperature management. As these... This mealwood is about to stop growing. Okay, so we can get some bomb lily seeds, or... We can get... Actually... Ah... Uh, Slow learner, decrease science, don't care. Squeamish can't do doctoring errands, it's not a big deal. Increase food morale bonus. Likes farming, cooking, and digging. Not an ideal person, but can function. It's like, okay, so with three interests, you basically get the level one stat for free of each, which is cool, but it's not great. But at least this person's going to be okay at cooking. And digging is never a bad thing. But like farming, though? Doctors needed to haul dupes to a cot? I don't know. You had a disagreement with a buddy of yours over thermodynamics as a heated argument? Oh no. I am super tempted, super tempted to just take the bomb lily seed and wait for a better cook here. 
decrease science is the worst part. The decrease science is not a factor at all. I'm more interested in the, the doctoring errands. I th I I am so very tempted to just not take I want someone to am my standard are my standards really that high? My standards are that high. I'm doing it. I'm not taking someone that has three mediocre interests. I want someone that can actually specialize. Could always hope farm when not cooking, not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. But it's not good. It's just a solid average. Like that was the best we've seen so far, which is not a high standard so far. Science is learning all skills. Si science isn't learning skills. Science is science. It's a t tech tree. Okay. How quickly they gain skill points? Oh no. In a world where your dupes are limited by morale. It is bedtime for Andromeda Fallen. Finally building up there. Whatever that's worth. I don't know that I have polluted dirt. I don't have polluted dirt. Okay. I'm worried about a pair of dupes dooming because they go down, the other can't doctor, even just pull them up to safety. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no mechanic for rescuing a uh, down. Like, dupes don't go down, they just die. Hello there, Trustum. Welcome, welcome. Duplicate skills. Okay, so this person now has to take skills that they aren't. Oh, is this? Ooh. I don't need this right now. And I don't want to take it right now because that's plus four morale need, which is an issue. They can be incapacitated. Really? Okay. I've never seen a dupe become incapacitated. The voice just died. Interesting. You have to practice planet side squad leading. Yeah, that's uh, good luck. Stressful. Carry strength. I don't know that I want to. My problem with taking the carry strength is, if I do that, then I have to. Then I can't pick this up. Not that I'm going to need this immediately. The squad lead is fun. It can be. Yeah. It can absolutely be. It's just it's energy consuming. Very energy consuming. Let's just slap one of these anywhere. 
in case of emergency. I will have it available. Hmm. I don't think I need to worry about that. We've got enough hatches here. At least enough hatch eggs. Time for science. Time for science. What science do I not have? A fair few. I did want to do the that, which this is the area to work on it eventually. way to get morale is to uh, crush some rare materials and feed it to your dupes. Understandable. Welcome back, Naja. Oh, Naja, want to know something fun? I've been playing a little bit of Conqueror's Blade as a friend was looking into the game and I was like, oh, you know, I've played that game. I know how to, uh, I know how to play that. What are my dupes at the table doing? Uh, and suffering, mostly. Now let's actually clean you out before you're needed. Well, I mean, he worked a little bit over here. Lice loaf consumes some water and consumes some lice. It's a better meal. Nosh beans. Tofu. Okay. This consumes water. Is that fine? That's fine. Does this require... I don't know if that requires a... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry on there that I had to go. It was good! Uh, it's, the, game is, the game is fun. It's, it's still Conqueror's Blade. And it's got even more things to click on than it did before. But mechanically the game is fun. I was, I was wondering about refrigeration on the... Uh, on those, but I assume it does, and I'm just gonna deal with it because I don't have any way of refrigerating them. There's a shine bug in the bathroom. Let's put a couple storage bins here and storage bin here, 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 and here. And then I'll do ladder here. There's a hatch here. He's gonna get unburrowed. 
Hello, Hatch. Rise and shine. Okay. You filling up my storages? I, I am filling up my storages, yes. It's a thing that's happening. Oh, there was sound there. Oh no. Okay. I could really use a good constructor. How long into a new dupe? One point two cycles. I like how I did these, but none of these guys are tamed. They're just all wild and living in the ranch. Which is fine by me. I don't have to feed them. They'll just eat whatever is there. Thanks. I don't mind them cleaning up because as they clean up that makes everything more efficient but it is time consuming to do. Very time consuming. Yay storage bins. I'll accept critter egg and liquefiable. This one is specifically for slime. This one's specifically for uranium. Because that's a thing. How does one go about buying oxygen? It does seem available. <laughs> oh no. And now it's nap time for Andromeda Fallen. You know, I usually use, in uh, Conqueror's Blade, I usually used uh, Spear. I've been, I've been trying out a bunch of different weapons. They have new weapons, which I'm not surprised by. New weapons, new units. In typical fashion, all the units that I had from before are, have been nerfed into... I don't want to say into the ground, but they're not great. Which is a thing to worry about. Okay. More science. Let's go. Robotic friends. This is a day for rooting people with the with the poison crossbows and such. Uh, it's still a good game. It's still downloadable. It's still free to play. You can get tired of the unstunnable horse charges of winged Vox. <laughs> I haven't seen as much cavalry, but I I don't know why that would be. Do, 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 do. 
Do I need a mod? I'm playing without mods right now. Because I uh, haven't played enough to know much about this game. I seem to be sustained nigh indefinitely. So I'm looking to find... I'm not in a position where I have to worry about much of anything. So I am looking to take a more optimized path forward. Someone with cuisine would be a good way of going about it. I've got... So I want to find a high-value dupe to grab next. Vitals, there we are. Skills. Bio. Regenerative. Hey, all right. <laughs> Looks like heat hasn't become oppressive. Not yet. It's 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 teetering on the edge. Like as you can see, if this raises literally one degree, then we're then we start having heat issues. Literally one degree. So like I'm very glad that I haven't that I haven't uh, spent on machines or whatnot because literally one degree away from having problems. Like, we are towing that line. Do you want to keep researching constantly? But once I finish researching, and there's no more to research, then I have an extra dupe forever. And all the toys. Ice makers are a good temporary solution. Don't know about that one. I have different experience in that particular way. Okay. Construction machinery cuisine with nighttime owl. This would be a good person to have for later. Is this something I want to grab right now? Because I can afford it. Mm, I, I don't think so. Tempted to pick up Devon here. Devon? Devon? Get building, operating, cooking. Operating is not a great... I can grab fungal spores, which I'm probably not going to do anything with. Hmm. Cause like this person is just so good, but he's not someone I need right now. I I think Devon isn't good enough to pick up. The question is, do I pick up Frankie and just accept that I'm gonna be suffering for food, or do I pick up any of these other two and look for someone more? Like this is someone I want, just not want right now. I I think I think I can do this and force him into cooking. He can be our cook and our and our uh, decorator. Because I don't need decorator right now. 
is yeah he'll go up here because like decorating like that's only three levels so he's going to get something but here's the thing like if i were to have if i were to have him if i were to have a guy that's good on decorating and something else then i can just get more but for now grilling all right you are a cook for the foreseeable future Typical artist. I'm sorry. You, food poisoning. Why do you have food poisoning? Okay. Eating germ-covered meal lice. Why were there germ co Did you go to the bathroom while carrying your food and then eat it? Uh, I'm disappointed in you. Okay. Food. Electric gill. Ah, uh, this can't fit here. They're being efficient, I should be proud. Oh no. Alright. This will produce heat, which I understand is going to be a thing. Uh, Fentil. Uh, I, I, I appreciate the sentiment. I really do. It is in everyone's best interest if you don't tell me things. Especially my own interests. So p please don't. Until I can expand, I am going to place this right there. Open. How do you know what you should do next? I don't! Because I don't know how to play, and I'm figuring it out along the way. The objective is survive, as far as I'm aware. Expand and create. It's like there's entirely new planets and things to go to. Ah, there's just a lot to go. Work in progress. Alright, uh, time for pickled meal. That's not better. It just doesn't spoil as quickly. But it isn't better. Okay. Uh, so we'll do this forever, we'll do this forever. I don't have any of these, so... My priorities! Where is cooking, man? I want you to do cooking first. More than most. Top you off. Uh, we need to disallow everyone from... Decorating, except for decorating boy. And then cooking higher priority. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Is that better to do lice loaf? Then? Because this is actually a better meal. Yeah. 
And it also converts 120k cow into 1700k cow. It does consume some of my water. So I don't know if that's better. Okay, well, pickled time it is. We are getting water. Slowly. Okay, so this should be the area where we can do some water processing. Does it produce heat to create the loaf? Everything produces heat. Everything produces heat. Period. Sweepy deck. I need water refinement, water sieve. And I also need a pool in which to put more water. Alright, so we can put another water pool. Let's put a potable water pool here. Unpotable water pool here. Let's just go down. And this is this is fine. Just stay away from the radioactive elements if possible. Food safety. Are we contaminating our food? We've got contaminant all over the place. Why do we have contaminant all over the place? What's going on here? We have airborne food poisoning. Everyone's covered in it. Outhouses are not causing it. So I think I want to put the water pool here. Slime has a lot of germs. It does have a lot of germs, but that's not what we're dealing with here. The slime germs are different from the... Uh, the slime germs are different from the... Uh, food poisoning germs. Got upset with you? I'm not upset with you. I'm just disappointed. Very big difference. Hmm. I don't need to do that right now. I've got the things to do. Higher priorities. What do you do in game? You manage the colony. Try to figure out how to keep these two year olds alive. It's like herding cats. I'm gonna slide the bathroom over here. Research complete. New construction options available. <laughs> you would rather read a book on feminism? There's actually a lot of interesting topics there. Especially when you get into... Maybe it's my uh, analysis side of things. But like Especially when you get into like the uh, postmodernism. It's just like a bottomless... Psycho a whole of psychology and humanities. It's very interesting to me. Do, 
Uh, why? Uh, how does one force him to use the the wash basin? Forty two sciences. Why don't you wash your hands? Um, you didn't wash your hands. Why is nobody washing their hands? Uh oh. No one washed their hands. It's out of water. So that's what's going on here. It's out of water. Alright, got it. Figured it out. Outhouse, outhouse. Slide it one further back. at least one of these available at all times that way people can always wash their hands the same thing like bathrooms you gotta have two of them otherwise they run out of water and they run free and they poison themselves Material paste. Still have fourteen tons of algae. We got gold amalgam, that's new. As well as pickled meal. She's good, good. Alright, you have a good one, Travis. Good luck out there. Alright, and forty two scientists and Andromeda and we're still playing. Uh, I can upgrade you here. Bonus stats. There's the bonus construction and machinery, which is beautiful. Plus two science, or... Plus two hub husbandry. Uh, probably husbandry, or science. I don't know. It's hard. Hard decisions are hard. I think we'll do science first. And come back for husbandry later. Okay. Outhouse. You can then upgrade this to a lavatory later. <sighs> Deconstruct this one first. Away we go. My plant's gonna die because of added heat. Inevitably, yes. It's only a matter of time. Why are you not being stored here? Is it eight? We have delivered more ice here. This ice will cool the environment. Somewhat. It is already lowering the temperature. Upgrade priority on sinks. Yep. Yep. That's the idea. Mm. 
The progress on the expansion still going. Work in progress. Is that better than the ice thing to cool? Uh, it's slower. Not that I'm worried about speed right now. As far as I'm aware, it isn't more efficient. Lazy plants too hot can't grow. <laughs> yeah. Could you route the cold air in a cool of hot spots? I can, if I had one. If you notice, there's not a whole lot of cool around these parts. At all. There's my base, and then there's... That's it, like the coolest part is my base. Could set up a nice fan for faster cooling? I could, I just don't care. Because why? Oh no, you got slam lung. How? No one's been down in the slime lung territory. You still somehow got slime lung. Hmm. Okay. I'm sad now. Uh oh. There's a shine nymph in here. It's asleep. Please select the shine nymph. I really don't want to attack it, but like. It's, it's so young. And I want to have Shine Nymphs, but they're kind of getting in places. Alright. So, let's do... I know what I can do. You're over there. Let's... Auto this. Let's open this. Let's... Tile you. Tile you, tile you. High priority. Higher priority, these two. Reset you to five. Okay. Now, is this under food? It is under food. Why? I don't know. Bring you over here. All right, printing pod. Excavation, green thumb, ranching, and suit wearing. I'm not too keen on either of these. Pufflets. Do I want to try pufflets? I don't know that I want to try pufflets. As pufflets, if I recall, they converted polluted oxygen into slime, and they converted oxygen into oxalite. And I, I don't. I don't know that I want to try this. Just pick up my more leaves. Cook the pufflet eggs. I don't really need food right now. Let's just grab some, some of these guys. Did it just eat my phosphorus? It did. Okay, are we done with the food poisoning nonsense? No? Okay. I'm just hoping this one doesn't get caught up in it. In fact, let's do this. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna have to lock it on the other side. This is fine. This is no longer fine. No longer fine. Colony advancement. We've obtained. It's not raw. A duplicate eat any cooked meal prepared at Electric Gilla Gas Ranch. Yeah. All right. Uh, research complete. New construction options available. Huh. I think what's happening here is the material I'm putting in here has the germs on it, so it's putting it into the air? The whole slime lung thing isn't helping either. Hmm. that it can fly out of this now. Okay. Okay. Please construct. I was about to have a panic attack if he was stood up there to construct it. Oh, right. Uh, you know who we didn't rename? I forgot to rename. Oh well, if it isn't, if it isn't poor, uh, poor Jack with slime lung. This poor guy having to wake up just to breathe. All right, now we can do this before returning to normalcy. I do have phosphorite, right? Yes. Excellent. All right, so now this will fly over here. We lock this. Yes. Nom nom nom. We set you to high priority so that it gets out. No more in the bedroom, please. Thank you. Right, I don't need a second bathroom here. Deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. Two bathrooms is enough. <laughs> Polluted dirt doesn't seem to have any germs on it. As are uh, the germs disappearing. Go away. Okay, so we are still just having the extra 
store having the extra length on that food seems to be helping out immensely. One of these days, our stuff will be completed. Today is not that day. I am still tempted to bring our sciences. We have so much more science to do, guys. I'm tempted to not have him do science. Real tempted. Just so that we can... Uh, <clears throat> move along a little faster. Hmm. Alas, we are self-sustaining. I think we need a doctor next. This is important, but it'll have to come later. Hmm. Interesting. Is that ration box full? Oh, why are you here? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Poor Jack. He'll be fine. Hey, he's cured. He came back from the slime lung. He survived. Okay. Alright, bigger haul here. Is there a way to convert polluted water to normal water? There is! That's what I'm currently working on. I need this space to do so. It's just a very slow process because my play my people are very busy. Busy doing things. Bus busy surviving. And they're surviving for multiple people. Like we, For example, we have the scientist doing science things. So everyone basically has to take care of him because he's not making his own food. He's not doing really anything but science. So we have four people now taking care of five. Unbox the nymph? No. It lives there forever now. Uh, let us open this. I can reopen this guy. Deconstruct this. Then we'll have a bigger, better mess hall. For an richer mess hall here. And deconstruct. Yes, we should get this done in a day. Increase party on that so it's done. What do I need for the upgraded mess hall? Great hall needs 32 tiles. That's good, and we also need a... Decor item of plus 20 decor. Furniture. Metal block. Lead. I don't know that I want to do that. There's no way this doesn't melt. Everything is on fire! Everything is always on fire. Air arc. The strange atmosphere here appears to contain solarite. Oversaturate oh, no. your base with oxygen to empower the spear of a dune. <laughs> Hello there, dear Pluton Twin, coming in with support. Thank you, thank you. Alright. This does not require water. Okay, that's fine. Otherwise, I was about to be concerned. Oh, hey, we've made one further progress down. Uh... Slime line leak. 
can turn that into more algae. I think I just want um, tile here, like so. Not gonna dig all that out just yet. I'll dig this out, however. Excellent. All right, so this should now be a great haul. It is a great haul for plus six morale. You know what that means? Uh, not much because I don't have level up available to any of our people. But close. Jack the Ripper gets a hat of grilling. Things have progressed nicely. They have a little bit slow on the progression, but safe. consistent. This can be a potable water pool. What are the thoughts on the material naphtha? I don't know what that is. Are those dancing luminous objects light bulbs? Uh, they are living light bulbs, yes. Yes, yes they are. Do I want to dig further down to get a deeper potable water pool? I can probably live with this for now. Naphtha is a crude oil product. Everything is on fire! <laughs> Here's the extent of my knowledge on this game. The floor appears to be made out of floor. A quantum flare. Everything is always on fire. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, it's, we don't need these here anymore. These are going away. This is dangerous. We'll see if someone falls into it. You mean sort of this slow burn style of drama? Oh no. <laughs> Don't think I, you have that tech yet? Yeah, probably not. Incoming hatches. Yes, eat that dirt. Make that coal. There it is. They look like they're in such pain every time they have to, every time they excrete. Maybe it's just their teeth. Why are you like this? Oh, well, we get coal out of it, so that's cool. We got a fungal spore. Sweet. That's nice. Hmm. You'd be in pain too if you excreted lumps of coal? Probably, probably. Ooh, level up available. King Benjai now learns bonus machinery, bonus construction. Don't mind if I do. Uh, do you get an upgraded hat? Do you have a mechatronics engineering hat? You do. Oh, well, that's cool. We're still playing, unlocks the hazmat digging. Andromeda Fallen. Doesn't really have another. He does have a Mechatronics hat as well. I got two with Mechatronics. Because that's just good. Applied Sciences Research. Yes. Hat upgrades. Sweet. The fungal spores. Yeah, I'll I'll look into them. This is this is a trap waiting to happen. 
all of this. At least the floor isn't lava for now. Surprisingly few poop germs in this spot for what it is. Hmm. I don't have anyone with a priority I'm building. Okay. We don't really have any super good builders. I'm going to increase that a little bit. Research complete. Alright, so another printable. Drecklet eggs. I think I just want to pick up the drecklets, even though I don't intend to use them for the time being. Because I've seen them before. And we looked into what they did. And they were okay. Here. Here it is. It's like... They did... Fur things. Eating mealwood, giving phosphorite. Eating mealwood, giving phosphorite. They are like sheeps. What cleans air pollution? I have deodorizers which get rid of air pollution. I uh, understand that there's two different kinds of pollution, so to speak. There's pollution, which is just an entirely different atom, basically. It's a different molecule, basically. And then um, there's germs, which is... Oh god, slam lung returns. And there's germs, which are pollution of a kind that's unrelated to pollution. I need oxygen. We need to deodorize this. Actually, about all cleaned up. Things are looking okay. This is my first run. This is the first run. I did a bit of a. Uh, I did play a little bit off stream to get like the, the tutorial done, and uh, do a little bit of experimenting. This is the first run on stream. So I'm still learning. Hot tub? Raises duplicate morale. Interesting. Disease clinic. Allows duplicates to administer powerful treatments to sick duplicates. Must possess advanced medical care and skill to treat peers. Okay. Generates heat. Cost power. In the hospital. Toilet is out of order. Science must commence. It's already on the high priority, so. Y'all wash your hands? You did. Fully self sustainable base. Uh, I don't know about that. We're feeding off of water and losing water. Very slowly, but losing water. Uh, we don't have cooling set up, so, like, we're vulnerable to germs. That's a thing. We don't have doc any kind of doctor or medical facilities. We're vulnerable to germs. We don't have cooling set up of any kind, which is a problem, and the problem that I'm not currently actively working toward, even though we have a pseudo plan to deal with it. To 
did you just... Why didn't you just go to the bathroom? Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. So, instead of going to the bathroom, he just stood there and decided to keep cooking. And is getting food poisoning germs all over everything. Yeah. Okay. Dedicated worker. I mean... Credit where credit's due. That is some dedicated work. Oh, that's leaked all the way over here, too. Okay. Might need a third toilet. We have five people. It's not like there wasn't an unavailable... The, the, the bathrooms were available. You just didn't use it. Like, one was being cleaned. One was there. Might need a third toilet. Hey, you go to the roll. Welcome, welcome. We're playing Pain Management Simulator. We still aren't constructing things. Choosing science over infrastructure. Why am I like this? I feel like this game is optimized for engineering students. I feel like this game is optimized for anything but suffering. It's like, where is the next stress source of stress coming from? You do have a lot of food, maybe another worker. Yeah, with the cooking, with Jack do handling the cooking, we actually have a reasonable amount of food. Reasonable. That we can afford another person. Here's the thing. We need a bedroom and me and uh, such for that, which is a reoccurring problem due to lack of ability to actually actually build things. Because we have so much stuff queued up. But uh, this is too big. This is one space too big. Okay. We don't need that there. Okay. Even <laughs> if you don't give it priority higher than 5, 2% dupe stand to ignore it. They're not ignoring it, they just have other things to do because I have so many things for them to do. Remember that we have uh, people that are focusing on things like science that are not actually helping with uh, the, the core fundamentals of survival. Like, we have people that are consuming food, but not helping in the production of food. And we only have five people. So everyone has to carry, everyone that isn't them has to carry extra weight. And we're getting progress done. Like, we're getting massive progress done in the tech tree. Like, look at all the progress we've gotten. It's just slow. Turn off the science. I don't want to turn off science. I want to finish the science so I have access to the things. And then once I have access to the things, then I can turn off the science and do whatever I want. And that way I don't have to turn the science back on, ever. And then I can actually progress at maximum efficiency. Is there a geyser in the way? Oh, uh, you're talking to chat. So I have a geyser in the way. It's... Here. Which is why I'm adjusting this ladder. So you can see how the ladder is like the central platform around here? The central elevator shaft? I'm moving the entire base over a few blocks. So I can fit in between this abyssalite. And not get in the way of the geyser. The science must go and the spice must flow. <laughs> Dune Spice Wars is actually good fun. I'm looking for I'm super looking forward to the multiplayer updates. That way we can do multiplayer things. 
Is this a room? You're not sleeping in a room because there's a dirt in the ceiling. Okay, I did not realize that was there. At least we have a good digger. <laughs> Just download the new patch. Yeah, that is, it does have... I've seen it some updates go through like it's had work done on it it just um it isn't what's the word multiplayer capable and that's what makes me happy you get like all my friends like hey guys you want to play a 4x game where you can build a civilization and also torment each other in the process even busy with hard space shit breaker they sold it on last night watching him play i i heard it got some updates and it's been doing another round of uh, advertisement It's not really my kind of game, but it is a good game from my understanding and what I've seen of it. Is there background fill blocks for the bedrooms? No, there's no background style blocks. Jack delivering all of the dirt everywhere. We can do a massive expansion of the uh, of the farm, but then I won't have people to tend the fields. There are background blocks. It's drywall. Okay, I will take your word for it. Auto sweeper. Oh, I like. But you generate heat. I don't know. I don't know what unit that is. That's kilo DTUs. Discrete thermal units. Which I don't know if, if DTUs is an actual metric. It's an actual. Let me look that up. DTU. Heat. Yeah, it looks like it's a fake heat. Okay. Duplicant thermal units. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's a video game heat. <laughs> to play on British thermal units. I mean, that's fair. The hatchlings, they sleep. It didn't say BTUs. It did not say BTUs. It said DTUs. Which is why I was like, is this? What is, what is this? Alright, now we can clear this out. And we can run some power here real quick, just to clean this up for the time being. While our fluttering light source stays away from the bedrooms. Okay. You <laughs> should look at the melting point of a dupe. It's like 1,800 degrees Celsius. That's doable. It's inevitable. This is actually cooled off somewhat. I think the ice is one out in the... I think the blue from the ice here is one out. Which is nice. Is this old world? I've been playing for a while. Uh, neither. This is... Uh, started a little, little bit earlier today. Hmm. Alright, so what we are going to do is we are going to put a pump in here, and then we are go oh, we're going to have to send uh, dupe into the polluted water of slime lung and food poisoning. Oh, someone's getting slime lung. Jack, we need a slime lung person again. Dupes can run through lava. 
I don't doubt it. I just doubt they can do so for very long. Oh, what's this? Oh. This is useful information. So many graphs. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. We have constant growth of the wildlings. Average work times consistent stress created is staying low, spiking. We have no domesticated creatures. Love to see it. Calorie consumption. Not surprised by it going up because we've got more dupes. Oxygen consumed. You can see where the slime lung happened. We got another dupe, so now we're up to 400, 304 units. Or kilograms of oxygen consumed and produced. Constantly above, though not by much. Calories are good. I wish I could normalize this. Smooth it out to make it a little bit more apparent. Power produced. That's fine. We've got manual generators right now. Alright, duplicate skills. Who unlocked a skill? Hey, if it isn't Jack the Ripper, grilling. Grilling too? Bonus cuisine? Or decorating. The grilling too, more important. Uh, then he can go all the way up the uh, decorating tree. 99% stress win. Oh no. But we like our dupes. They are clones. Clones are cool. Jack's bed needs to be moved into this bedroom once the bedroom is completed. Mm -hmm. How does this game manage thermoregulation? We haven't gotten that far. Although... It does seem to have some thermoregulation style mechanics. You look forward to seeing your designs on fluid transfer, gas transfer, and filtration of both, as well as how you handle using them from cooling. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Luckily, we've recently unlocked the science necessary to do that, so we can actually do it. It's just a uh, work in progress. Building lacks resources. This is fine. Sixty seconds till another dupe is offered to us. I actually, we would have to expand the farm if I were to do another dupe. Could add a farm over here. I can't add a farm over here. This is where we're doing the... Could add a farm over here. We could have to do so much digging if we get another deep right now. Can you build a giant trash hole through everything? I can, but then I have to deal with the giant trash hole. And that sounds like a miserable experience. Even more so than dealing with everything we've got here. But also need to increase oxygen production. And our algae has been constantly going down. Alright, seven strength, seven... Nine husbandry on the ranch. I don't really want any of these. I want a doctor. None of these are doctors. We got some barbecue. <laughs> the spaghetti becomes quite insane. I like spaghetti. I don't like spaghetti. Why are you not? You need a carbon dioxide. Are we actually out of carbon dioxide? Oh my god, we've produced so much oxygen that we're actually out of carbon dioxide. Okay. Did not expect. I mean, I guess it is what it is. First, you use the cold biomes. That requires us to have cold biomes. There are no cold biomes within line of sight of us. And space acts weird. It just seems like an infinite source of cold, because this is the vacuum of outer space here. So, like, I can puncture through it and just absorb the cold from it, but then I'm going to have to deal with cold for the rest of the game, which I think is okay, because then we can put our machines somewhere and then have the cold of outer space cool them. 
I don't understand how that works. But, welcome to the game. I don't know vacuum is normally insulated, but here it provides cold. Yeah, so, it is an insulator. As far as I can tell, you can't actually... Like, this doesn't have a... Like, uh, thermal conductivity is zero. This is an insulator. Vacuum is an insulator. It's also... The space is also radioactive. Which, I'm not close enough to the surface to see the radiation pouring through. So, I don't know where the cold comes from. I don't know where the cold comes from at all. Uh, but here we have the cold. Very, very, very much so the cold coming from has to be somewhere. So, like, heat is escaping off of this. Heat is escaping off of this crust into the vacuum, but the vacuum has no thermal... Uh, I don't understand. It makes no sense to me. In game or in real life, because that's not how that works. Mm -hmm. More construction options. Perhaps the planet is lacking a star, and that's why they deep to live underground. Maybe. <laughs> that is an open space, just a gap in the rock with no air. Yes, that is that is correct. We haven't gone up enough to uh, see the open space. Uh, however, we do have regolith here. Re regolith? Regolith? I don't know how to pronounce that. So at some point, there's going to be space up here. Like actual deep space of a vacuum. Black body radiation, it emits the heat in the form of infrared light straight into space. I, I don't think black body radiation is in this game, but... There we are. Regolith? Yes. That is a word. So we've almost finished constructing this. Then we can start playing around with the things. Oh, did we actually barbecue? Yeah. Uh, where is? Let's get one. One of these, literally anywhere, so I can see what the mushrooms are like. Why is the glow, glow bug alone in the room? Because it's very bright. Oh, it's regolith. Okay. I, I will not be able to get a pronunciation from chat. That's not how chat works. You know what? Why am I sitting here reading chat when I can do... Hey, Google. No, I don't want... Regolith. 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 Okay. Learned. Regolith. Hey, this is done. Is this deodorizer done deodorizing things? Always oh, trying. Okay. Alright, time to get rid of all of this. And get rid of this. And now we can do things. And by things, I mean put ladders across. And here we can put. the beautiful spot for our. So our. Potable water will go here. So we need to pump out of here and process here, I suppose, would be a good place for it. Pity this game doesn't come on mobile. 
This game doesn't lend itself toward mobile play, although it probably could have a UI redesign that works. It's a little bit complicated for mobile play, I think. Like, it's the kind of game that if you played it on PC for 200 hours, then you could probably learn to play it on mobile, but I don't... I don't know. And they're coming close to our bedrooms again. Oh, hey, this is done. Only took it like 20 minutes in real time. Okay. Is this unreachable? It's not unreachable. Please finish this. Why do they do the construction fast but ignore the bedrooms? It's just when they have time to do things. Like, most of our dudes are off busy doing non-construction things, like tending to the farm. So we've got a lot of farmland. Farmland has to be tended. We've got a science guy doing nothing but science. We've got these guys which need constant food. We've got bathrooms that have to be constantly maintained. There's a lot going on here. We still have a lot of this stuff down here that hasn't even been picked up and dealt with yet. There's a lot of things to do. Game mechanics question. Since you're going to process polluted water in space A and send it to space B for potable water storage, would a downward pump be necessary? A downward pump is not necessary. Gravity is a thing. And it works. In fact, liquids almost exclusively work off of gravity and you can't really do anything else with them. Which is a thing. These guys are very loud. The eggs hatched. So that's cool. We have many egg now. Okay. Hello there, Bob. Welcome to the chat. Okay, so we need to deal with... Oh, we got liquid rocket stuff. We're on rocketry in the tech. That's... Rocketry is fun. Uh, not going to be playing with it here. Mechanical surfboard. Alright, so I, I think it's under... Refinement? Water sieve, yes. So this takes that grossness of water and dumps it wherever we want it. Get three of these. Start with one of these. I don't need to go wild. Just, just one. Uh. Someone's got to go into the slime lung. Alright, uh, let's put a door here so that we can get into the slime lung. We'll put a manual airlock to stop the germ. I'll put the output of polluted dirt uh, here. Already prepared. What happens to the one-eyed poop fish? Uh, they get more dirty water constantly from everywhere that my place produces it. I just have to make sure not to... Uh, wow, you are real happy today. Alright, so what is the second skill that we're still playing is going to learn? I'm going to put it on construction, because we need someone on construction, for the love of God. Hello, King Benjai. You are hungry, and 
Yucky lungs, and soon to have slime lung. Because we don't have a doctor. Okay, uh, you know, I'm actually going to leave this open for the time being. Uh, let's put... Where is it? Deodorizer. Okay. Should you put it sink before going there? I I don't think there's any any way of saving this. It's like this. What does the sink actually do? There's germs and duplicates. Carry capacity is useful skill. It is a useful skill, yes. I think I'm just going to accept the risk. Sink would probably help, yes. Liquid pump. And then liquid pipe. Okay, nice. people have gotten sick so far? No one. We do have some stress levels increasing. But we're all good for now. Okay. This is fine. I can rotate the seat without being more convenient. I don't believe it would, no. Unless we rotate it, maybe, actually. Plumbing. Refinements. No, it just mirrors it. Hello there, Eric. Welcome, welcome. Uh, where was my test right here? I wanted to look at fungal spores. What are these? Requires darkness, cool temperatures, and a carbon dioxide atmosphere. Requires slime instead of dirt. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Interesting. This gives us fried mushrooms, which is mediocre. That's actually way better than meal wood. Uh, I did carbon dioxide for that, though. I don't have a whole lot of that lying around. Although maybe I could. It's a big O. That is a very big O. Very big O. Might be able to put it down here. It's darkness is easy. Carbon dioxide. Alright, do I have slime, like, at all? No. No, I don't. Okay. Ooh, new science. Go science. Um, alright, how does one obtain slime? Let me look at slime. 
Alright, nope, nope, nope. There's this button. Slime. Solid. Consumed by this. This. This consumes 4,000 slime per day. Alright, so unless I have... Puffs. To consume polluted oxygen. Then I'm probably not going to get slime. So hang on to that. Okay. I processed all the slime. I did process all the slime. I turned it into algae, which I'm currently using to, uh... I, have, I actually need to turn more of it into algae, because I'm currently using it for my oxygen production. New printable. Doctor, 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 doctor. Oof. Morale bonus while in space, immune to food poisoning, increased decor bonus, cannot do decorating errands, decreased machinery. This is not a good doctor. At all. And I don't want the pufflet. I actually don't mind the pufflet. Which is mostly a good way to get rid of your extra slime from excavating slime biomes than a sustainable food source. Yes. I can see that for sure. I'll pick up the pufflet. And we'll get some extra slime around, I guess. You know, these Paku aren't producing eggs very quickly. They're both getting up there in age, no eggs yet. Although I know we've had a fair few that have done that. Actually, we used to have a... One of these polluted pools actually had a... Uh, mutated Haku in it. I don't see it anymore. Oh, hello. Supply teleporter output. I kind of want it. I have to get both sides. Okay. Pufflet Prince Egg. Oh no. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh. And it burrowed into my compost pile. Okay. Puff, it looks so confused. Kinda does. Are those ruins you can discover? Yes. Yes, they are. The hatchlings, they're so tiny and happy. We still haven't worked on grooming any of these or taming them. Alright, liquid output pipe. Time to go. Let's fill this up. I'm looking for plumbing. Click on wall toilet to make it go away. Liquid pipe. Nope, nope, stop it. Stop. Thank you. Just go straight down. This will be our potable water source for reusable water. And uh, let's add a pitcher pump here. Perfect heights. Another cool game. This is this is interesting. 
I just said sort of valves or doesn't overflow. No. We had a warning that we were using 30 watts of power. Yeah. And Prince is 30 grams per day of slime with a cost of... Or 3,000 grams per day of slime with a cost of 30 gram per day. Uh, I got the backwards. It's uh, 30 grams per day at the cost of 30 kilograms of air. Which is... Huge difference. Like, that is a massively significant difference. Yes, farm. Do all the farming. Okay. Unrefrigerated food. Oh no. Uh, so we're not doing these guys. Um, not for a while. I might, if we get, might be able to. Could, like, stuff them in a polluted atmosphere behind an airlock. Generate a bunch of slime. And go from there. Alright. Um... I know. Uh, we can lock this now. Or close that at least. Alright. Uh, good pump. Oh, you're coughing. Why are you coughing? Your key lungs, okay. So we don't want to pump all the water out of here for obvious reasons. Then we fish, and we're good. We have another source of water, and it's already working. All right, sweet. So I need to make sure not to drain all the fish of their water. But remember when we first started, this water level was all the way down here. And we filled it all the way up with our urine. <clears throat> okay. One more thing. This potable water is intended to be used for the uh, wash basins. So, we add another pump. We'll add it over here. And we do liquid level sensor would be nice. I will have to take your word for it. And do I want to run this like all the way over here? It's time we dig this out. Okay, I got some more digging to do before I actually complete this, so I'm going to cancel this for the time being. Just leave with that.
Yay, water. Okay, so now we have somewhat more renewable source of water. Uh, I will assign this to Jack the Ripper once he wakes up. And it will be good. Deconstruct. I said Jack the Ripper. Okay. We'll deconstruct this guy so we can get this ready to go. More digging to do. Always more digging. This water source over here will not last, last forever. Rip the one duplicate who has the night shift and wasn't asleep. Why? Everyone got a night's sleep, just not all at the same time, because that's how that works. In fact, here's Andromeda Fallen. Going to bed despite having a full bladder. I am concerned that this creature is going to wake up in the middle of the night and uh, spill its bladder all over the place without going to the toilet. That is 100% going to happen because there are no available toilets. Okay. Good to know. Now there is an available toilet. Hey, here he comes. Okay. so much water now. Excellent. Is this done? Not yet. I think I want to uh, replace all this as well. Do it. Build the things. Uh, let me check the priorities. Tidying. Building. We're still playing. Could use poverty boost in building. Excellent, yes. Yeah, so we're nice and sustainable. Which is cool. I like that. Does this thing only eat polluted oxygen? I don't think I can t I think it only eats polluted oxygen, which I don't have much, which I'm okay with. Plants dead? Yeah, they need dirt. There's uh, a lot going on. Tending to the plants is a full-time job, which is why everything is going slow. I'm spending time building things and not tending to their jobs of the fields. If you put a mesh door with a tile above it, next to the storage bin in the stable, dupes need way less time getting bit less time to get critters to the grooming station. Am 
mesh door with a tile above it next to the storage bin in the stable. Ah, because it locks them all in. Uh, they get cramped if they can't path around, so that's just a mistake. Might be the heat caught up? No, they're not fertilized, which means that they haven't been given their, their daily water yet. Which is not surprising. Because it's something that deeps have to do every day. And they didn't get to it today. They're too busy doing other things. There's a lot of work to do in here. New dupe, almost. You see, you're still alive. Yes, we haven't, we haven't caused cataclysmic death yet. I'd say, uh, not for lack of trying. I just need to make sure to turn off the water before we lose, before we consume it all from the fish. Hey, we got some more gas manipulation tools. Cool, cool. There's so much polluted nonsense down here. Hello there, Mario Kart. Welcome to the chat. They don't get cramped because the room is continuous despite their being... So, what I've seen is it's not based on room, it's based on uh, pathing. A wild creature can get cramped if it gets... if it can't path around a smaller room. Andromeda can get... Not having you do doctoring. Uh, what's something that would be good for you to have? Because you've already got mechatronics. Hmm. Interesting. I've already got improved carrying... Improved strength, I guess? Wouldn't be a bad thing. Building along with mechatronics, that's what I'm considering. Uh, you need... Probably need to get you on science, yeah. So otherwise it's going to cost a ridiculous amount to get you going. I'll work on this, even though it's not immediately needed. I'm going to have you building. And we need to put you on a different path. Other construction. Construction is a good one of. You can do construction. Okay. Hello, new dupe. Give us a doctor. That is an omega level doctor. And is a terrible person. Undigging allergies, allergies, and a pacifist. Ouch. Um. Hum.
All right, so not that doctor. Reroll as your friend? How do you reroll? Because that's not useful. I've not found... Is there a reroll button that I've missed? Put the doctor on for me when he's not doctoring. Uh, no. Hmm. How about I just don't have a dude that's going to be a detriment to himself? We roll as a setting. Basically a cheat mode in some respect. Uh, it's a mod. It's a mod. Okay. I understand. Uh, we don't have any mods here. Uh, I guess we'll pick these. Press the prints on cooldown and rerolls. I mean, yeah, but why would I put it on cooldown when I can just select something? Okay. This is so much water, it's good. <clears throat> we roll only this desecration, yes. That much, we did use that somewhat. Hey, we're finally getting around to planting all the, all the goodies. Do we have someone farming? Yeah, we do have 42 scientists that specialize in farming, but not more than he's specializing into research and he's constantly researching. He actually did a little bit of farming. Interesting. Almost done with this, then we can do hazmats. And... Are almost done with a tier two. Oh god, that's so much computing. Okay. Okay. How are we on the heat? We're generating some heat now. I may need to change tactics here and move toward up here a little bit with a little bit more uh, fervor. Because this is going to be an issue. Why? Why are you the way that you are? Okay. Oh, hello. Some of you guys can't get to your bedroom, so you are going to... Not nine, but eight. Okay. Received water is still germy, but it's not polluted. That makes it usable. <sighs> I also need to have another bedroom available, so when we get a doctor, we can actually use him. And give him a place to be. A geyser? Yeah, it scares me. Geyser scary. How did you guys fit through that? Okay. I swear, if they get stuck on the way out... Alright. Just get off. Go handle this. Okay, well... At least now I, now I know how that works. <clears throat> so, these priorities override the priorities on the manually given side. Interesting. Have I considered using generators other than the manual one? I have considered it, yes. Let's 
it's uh, something I've thought about. Crops are having a bad time. Let's... We're still okay on food, so like... Hmm. Not overriding the emergency task? I don't... know what that means. Did I figure out the heat issue? Uh, I've just kind of ignored it by not building machines. I say as we've built a machine. Which is generating heat. And as you can see is moving about. Uh, we have kind of a solution. We can vent things into space, though I don't, haven't completed the construction necessary to get up there. We found this, which is interesting. I like that. I want more of it. You have to figure out how to recharge that somehow. You also have a teleporter here. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, hello, research complete. New construction options available. I'm just going to go top down. Get everything. I want to do food repurposing next. Oh, hey, this is finally completing. Give me a door. Clear up the ladder. We can actually clear up these ladders as well. <laughs> cold geyser could be used for cooling. Or it could not be a cold geyser and then we could lose the entire... Lose everything. I'm going to at least be prepared to utilize this area before opening that geyser. How do you break the abyssal rock? Uh, yeah, you just it just takes longer to break. It says it slows it down. Okay. Wasn't there something that turned contaminated oxygen into slime? Uh, yes, we have one of them. Um, I'm not going down that path because that's horrendously complicated. Everything is on fire. Everything is always on fire. I see we are addicted. I mean, marathoning Oni. You have no idea. There's an exploit you can use if you want to see it. I don't really. Not that bad. I'm trying to learn the game mechanics. Mm -hmm. Not all of our storages are full. God, it's it's 9.30 p.m., guys. I, I have things I need to do today. By that, I mean I need to, I need to make dinner. Or go get ramen. Because, like, the ramen place is also a bar, so they're open late. Just cool. There's so many things. All of these are overcrowded. Ramen could come to me. I tried that once. It was disappointing. Um, because when it came to me, they didn't... They removed the noodles. Or at least... When I got takeout, they had the noodles separated from the... Uh, the rest of the meal and I was like it's like putting spaghetti in and it wasn't that nice moist flavor that you get when you have the noodles soaking in the uh, in the broth so like it wasn't bad it just wasn't the same caliber you know Alright, we'll 
up in you. Back to work. Attribute increase. Athletics modifier. And keeps noodles from getting too soggy. Yeah, no, I, I understand why they did it. Because if you leave the, the noodles in there for too long, they just get super soggy. And then it's like, okay, well, that's not fun either. But uh, the ramen place is like walking distance from my house. I didn't have far to go. I want, I want broth noodle. Because it's so much tastier. So, like, for most cases, yeah, sure. But... I, I want the higher quality. The ramen place near you is like 20 minutes, so it's worth... Yeah, no, for something like that, absolutely. For me, I can just go and get it right fresh out of the, uh, fresh out of the, uh, whatever the place is called, the kitchen. Hello, Draco. You guys ate meal woods and produced phosphorite. Phosphorite is used to produce medical packs, which seems good if I had a doctor. It's used to produce fertilizer, also good. Used for pepper plants, these warts, all the glow things. Okay. Didn't I have a bunch of Drekos? What happened to them? Where did they run off to? I had a whole... I had three Drekos. Of course, the ramen in your kitchen is 30 seconds away. That microwave ramen is disgusting. So I had three Drekos. Um, where go? Where did they go? Ah, they're still in their eggs. That's where they went. Oh my god, they only have 38%. They grow so slowly. Okay. Suit the breed room from Rail Bonus. Yep. That's uh, on the list of things for them to do, yeah. That's another reason why everything's taking so long. I have a sweep on a high priority. So we keep that morale high. We have juice now. <laughs> Missing ladders at the bottom in a second. Yeah, uh, these ladders here are temporary, as are these are not going to be used. I don't care to have the. It doesn't matter. Although actually, I got rid of the machines that were there, so I can I can do this, and I could do this. Also means this needs to be auto, and this needs to be open. Or even better, this needs to be deconstructed. Gonna elevate this to 8 so Andromeda goes and does it. The worst part about it is I need him constantly on power. So. This is okay. We lose any dupes yet? Nope. No, we've not. I swear, if this thing goes in there, it's going to be the last thing it ever does. Well, that's death. Is there any way for me to rescue these things? comes out. I need him running. Because if he's not running, then we can't do science. 
Okay. It didn't get trapped in there. Good. What is this game about? Surviving. This is a colony building simulator. Not trying hard enough. I've built so many things. We have a sustainable... Like our food is sustainable. Our power is sustainable. Everything we have is sustainable. Except for the water. Which is... Ish. More efficient. That's not true. We are... Oh, we've collected slime from somewhere because we're back at the 21.4 tons of slime or algae. It's not a surprise to me. I already have a good one, Pondafo. Good luck out there. Doo -doo -doo. Hello there, Brett. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> because this issue increases as it does, probably lack of ways it deals with the heat. Yeah. Like, this is, you can see it's getting, the orange is begetting yellow tones around here, which is concerning. Because once that starts moving toward, because it's, alre it's already moving toward the farm, and once it hits the farm, then we're in trouble. Like, our food stops. Which, this is one machine. One machine. So I'm not particularly keen on having more. At least not until we get this done. Okay. Hello, printables. Doctor time. No. Wow. Uh, Twelve cuisine. Okay. Increased air consumption rate. Oh. Increased one hundred grams per second. Oof. Big scary. All right, I don't want either of those, but I will take a pipsqueak. That sounds cute. Okay. Have a good one, Hype King. Good luck out there. You know what I should do? Fire pole. I'll wait till the ladders are done. I thought that was the duplicate that just fell off the ladder. Ugh. Oh, it was just a piece of dirt. Same thing, right? Can make a nature reserve since you got a pip. Yes! Yes, I can. Later. Any reason to not tap on the polluted water in the upper right of your current supply? Uh, yes. That requires me to tell the duplicates to do something. They're already struggling to do what they've been told to do. They're, they're having, they're struggling to do delivering dirt to the farm tiles. They're all very busy all day. Let me preemptively add a, uh... Whatever this is. It's under furniture. It's a mess table. So we are good to go to add a new dupe whenever. It's funny you say that about the microwave ramen. When you worked at the high-end Vietnamese pho restaurant, the staff preferred the packaged yellow cheap noodles with their pho. I'm not terribly surprised to hear that. The microwave ramen is... It screams unhealthy. And, like, I don't feel good after eating it. But, it is flavorful. I think you just need to make a new duplicate and have them dig eternally up. Oh, that's we're still playing his job. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. Almost. The medic door needs to be done. 
fairly sure dupes bounce are immune to fall damage. I think so. Have I messed with the individual dupe job priority? I have, I have. We don't really have anyone on farming is kind of the issue here. Everyone's off doing non-farming things, and occasionally they touch farming, but... It's a thing. Like, I need Andromeda constantly producing power for the rest of us. And I need 42 scientists constantly researching so that we get the science done. Everything else is... There. Firepole could save some time for dupes. They could, they could. They would also require four days worth of construction time. Alright, King Benjai. Uh, we will have you do probably construction or digging. I'm not putting you on farming. I need another one of. Do -do -do. What about schedules? Schedules are set. We have a night shift and a day shift. And by night shift, I mean we have Andromeda. Oh, thank you, King Benjai. Is 42 scientists doing the research of 42 scientists? Yes, yes he is. Right, I think we're at about the level where we can safely turn this off and not have to worry about it. Save ourselves the heat, let it dissipate. Okay. Overachiever. Yes. Hello there, bad Trinity boys world. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> Alright, Max, have a good one. Good luck out there. I got a few more. Oh, sweet Jesus, another research finished. Alright. Uh, how close are we? Give me the robotic tools for the auto miner, which I'm not going to use for the foreseeable future. So we need the auto miner, we need the hazard protections, then we need automation tools. So construction or digging for King Benjai? I think we do another digger. We don't have a plumber. Should we have King Benjai be a plumber? I probably should have him be a plumber. Let's have him be a plumber. Okay. We need plumbers. A plumber, at least. That way we can manipulate pipes. Reasonably. Ninety-nine percent fresh, understandable. Just iron ore from space. You can do it. All right. The travel time we're still playing going up and down this thing is ridiculous. Like at least he's got good carrying. Negative two machinery. Oh no. Like what carrying does he have? We're still playing has hard digging. He has no improved carrying. Okay. Oof. He's just a digger at this point in time. Well, I know what I want him to get. 
and that's better construction. Jack the Ripper doing the cooking. And by cooking, I mean pickling the things. Why no slidey pole? Because that requires so much time to build. Although I should, uh... I should build it. I should set it so that the new ones here do the slidey pole. The fire pole. Okay. <laughs> Try using local maps with ladders. It's still going to be an equal amount of trips. I guess somebody else could to help with it, but... No, Draco. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jack the Pickler. <laughs> yes! Do all my streams eventually end up as videos? Vlogs on another channel? On uh, the same channel in which you're watching now. <laughs> so I guess at some point I'm going to be deleting all this ladder and replacing it with a fire pole. The mealworms are ready to go again. Meal wood. Creating meal lice. I don't need to un to do this. I can just build this right here and then have somebody else supply it. By locally made material around where you're building the ladder, not bringing materials to the site to be local. Uh, as in, like, constructing it out of iron and phosphorites? No. Got coal. It's making this over here, which I'm not going to go all the way over there for, especially considering it'll expose me to uh, chlorine. Heat. Why is temperature hot here? Oh, because temperature here is hot, that's why. Okay, question. Do I just punch through the abyssalite now? Hmm. Andromeda sleeps. Mm -hmm. Oh, the puffed. It's here. And it's got a 30% chance of producing a pufflet prince. Probability increases in the creatures not penned with puffed prince. So we need a puffed prince in order to get things that are not puffed princes. Okay. Oh! It ate air. And it created slime. Clean slime. Not much of it, but clean slime nonetheless. Okay. Inbreeding. Oh no. So it would seem, yes. It 
to live have a way to deal with the vacuum space we are literally going there for the purpose of surviving because otherwise i can't really do machines at least not much of them <sighs> This is gonna be a thing. Um, I might want to deal with get some clothing going. Science complete. All right, so all of that is tier three. At least the next bit of it is. So we'll do hazard protection. Good, nice. Another level up. Jack the Ripper levels up. I think we start decorating. Get him his decorating options, that way we could use decorating when we need it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. View entry. Gravitas has been growing pretty rapidly since our first product at the market. I just got a look at some of the new hires. They're practically babies. Not quite what I was expecting, but never had an opportunity to mentor some before, so it could be fun. My mentorship hasn't gone quite how I expected. Turns out the young hires don't need me to show them the ropes. Actually, since the, the facility's gotten rid of our swipe cards, one of the nice young men had to show me how to operate the doors after I got stuck outside of my own lab. Don't I feel silly? Oh no. Okay. Is that a cold biome bottom left? No. No, it is not. It is, uh... Near scalding. Quite hot. Quite hot indeed. No critter eggs, no liquefiables. Just in case I have anything new laying around. We have our uranium chest over here. Young hires in quotes, I know, I know. Alright. Polluted water goes into the water. Um, I think it is time. We start working to... Why is this out of order? Waiting delivery of dirt. Okay. You're not high enough priority. Please fix. How's the lack of oxygen going? Uh, we're good on oxygen for now. We are producing... We have enough algae. Get some slime. We have a sage hatchling. Uh, is that... I think that was the... Variant of one of these. Yeah, it is. Is that just better? 140 to 140. Oh, it eats, they, eats, they eat everything. Oh my god. 140 to 70. Okay, so yeah, it's just better. I can get a bunch of sages and feed them dirt. Okay. <laughs> Squad leading class is fun. He learned also how to air to ground a bit in the end. Huh. Yeah, that's usually you don't have to teach people how to air to ground too much. We do we do have a uh, like a a class that I haven't really taught anyone. I, I, so I did ESF 101, 102, 103. I kind of sort of went over with the hawk light once, but outside of that, no one's really gotten to a point where we needed it. Nutrient bar, joyous seeds, doctoring. Decreased athletics, decreased machinery. Comes with bedside mana, comes with a doctor skill already, and starts with a tier 2 skill. Decreased athletics. 
That's minus 50% run speed forever. I think I don't want this. Like, I'm looking for a doctor, but this ain't it. Yeah, this, this character isn't it. Uh, so we want Joyous Seeds, or do we want Nutrient Bar? I think we'll go with Joyous Seeds because we have zero of them available. <laughs> Brenda told you to ask me how to outrun missiles. Uh, most of that comes preemptive. If you have a missile, generally speaking, if you have a missile on you before you're maneuvering, in the time it takes you to get up enough velocity to get out of the way, it's too late. You have to be dodging before the missile hits you, or before the missile fires. So, a lot of awareness comes in. Um, also, the direction of the missile is important. Because you have to be going quickly away from it before it fires. So that's... You have to be actually just aware of your environment at all times. Which is... Uh, not an easy task to learn. That's why I don't usually teach it. If you're sufficiently aware of your surroundings that you know a missile is coming for you, then you generally don't have to uh, don't have to be taught how to how to deal with it. But if you aren't good enough, then or you aren't experienced enough to have like a constant scan and memorizing every pixel of the world as you're flying over it then you're not going to be able to dodge it anyways. So. Uh, there is a few tricks, uh, Tomcat missiles specifically, Swarm specifically, where after a certain distance, you can actually juke them. Um, that's going to come with practice, where you basically dodge out of the way at the right moment, because the, uh, the missiles, those specific missiles, are very poor turn radius, and if you are in hover mode, and if you have enough afterburner, you can hard juke them and make them spin circles around you. Um, the way to do that is to basically wait until right before it hits you, as you're a certain distance away from it. You juke to the side. I, it's not a particularly complicated process in that you just have to get. Oh, you just have to get a get the experience to see how it looks and actually try it and then um you have to basically count the seconds and the time it takes for the missile to come back around to you because if done right the missile will just circle around and come back to hit you so you have to basically blind dodge them the second time so like after you juke the first time, the missile will come around to you again, but this time it'll come around from your rear. So you have to juke the other way <laughs> uh, as it's coming back to you, and you can't see while that's happening. So that's uh, experience with timings and such. And that's not something I can really teach you other than just get shot at by missiles and practice it. Again, with the whole awareness and familiarity thing. It's once you get to a certain degree of experience in the air, things like missiles and you can dodge consistently, you become a nightmare to deal with. But that's a huge amount of practice that you have to do before you get to that point. There's not a whole lot for it other than familiarity with the air and just being shot at and how to dodge. There's no quick trip for it. There's no quick tip for it. It's physically learn the timings and seconds it takes for a tomcat to miss you and come back around and hit you in the rear. And then blind dodge it before it hits you in in the rear. That's that's the plan for dealing with tomcats. Good luck. <laughs> uh, you're about to give quick missile dodging hints for DCS. Yeah, missile dodging hints for DCS are both easier and more complicated than in Planet Side. So it the missile dodging in DCS makes sense. In Planet Side, it's just okay. Well. Good luck. For paintings, maybe? Not yet, no. Is this a classic cluster? Do classic clusters meteor storms and starting planetoid? I have no idea the answer to either of those questions. Mush bar. We do not touch the mush bar.
This is sand. Yes, I want to replace this with a tile so that I can see what is inside of it. We will dig this dirt. Unrelated things. What's, the, what's that geyser and how are we liking the mass head? I don't have issues with the mass head. It's, it's interesting. Like, um, I'm not... It doesn't surprise me anything about it. Like, it's there. It exists. I mean, it's... it's it is what it is. Um, early stats show that the masthead is dramatically increasing the amount of air to ground in the game, which anyone could have seen coming if they paid attention. Not terribly surprised by that at all. Where are you guys going? Oh. Harvesting. Uh, let's... Wrangle tool. It's not what I want. I want this. I do want a few of these thimble reeds. But yeah, for the, uh, the masthead, it's okay. Uh, the geyser, we don't know. I haven't opened it yet because it scares me, and it's very likely to do a thing where it jettisons hot fluid or air at me, and I don't want to deal with that right now. At least not until we get this opened. Speaking of which, let's work on this. Okay, so I need to do this. Just going to get the pattern unlocked. Not that I anticipate I'll be keeping to the pattern this high, this far away, but just in case, you know. Research complete. Are there insulation walls? There are, yes. I, I was browsing the Reddit earlier, and I uh, was looking at the stats for just how much the G that the masthead has uh, created, basically. It's wild. There's so much more air hammer going on. Like, I don't see it as often because I'm usually in the air. At least I'm not on the receiving end of it. But, like... Oof. And of course, working with the masthead Valkyrie is not that. Yeah, it's, I guess it, I haven't really dealt with a good masthead Valkyrie. Like, obviously, it's scary, but frankly, Lancer Valkyrie is a little bit more terrifying right now. It's not like something I've not dealt with before, or at least close enough. If that makes sense. Dig this out. Masthead flak AMR is painful to deal with. I mean, yeah. At least a little bit. Okay. So we should have the grid pattern all the way up now. I think now is the time when we do... Did that meow at me? Okay. okay. What's the next stream going to be? If I said oxygen not included, would you be surprised? No, no, no. Alright, so. Copper ore. I've got no more copper. Got some iron, though. Iron does not affect temperature, which is good. Okay. We'll get some speed increases here. Aren't there insulation walls? There are insulation walls, yes. That is a thing. We'll dig out all of this. All right. Start pull from the top. That would probably be wise. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't matter. Because what ends up happening is um, <clears throat> they're going to have to go up and down anyways for each and every item. So it, it 
doesn't it actually doesn't matter. It's at the D1 off streams. Well, yeah, because most of the time people aren't interested in the game. Yeah, the streams are a great way of gauging interest. And frankly, this game is not particularly high on the interest level. But it beats out a lot of, a lot of other games. It's actually beating out StarCraft, which is... I mean... Eh, it's kind of sort of beating out StarCraft, which is... Telling. A very niche game. It is a very niche game. Most people aren't interested in watching it, nor are they interested in playing it. The <laughs> same deal with Noita. At least it's easier here. Yeah, well, at least Noita is more of a spectator sport capable, where people will actually watch Noita. Like, Noita beats out StarCraft easy. It's just also a very frustrating kind of game. Like, not in the fun kind of way. It's the, you died to, it's, you spent 30 minutes and then you died on something that, uh, you can't possibly know about without checking the wiki and or watching 300 hours of videos on it. Which is, uh, like, sure, it's just not fun. And that's coming from someone who plays Dark Souls and has fun in Dark Souls. It's like, oh, you died off-screen because a lamp generated and then didn't have anything to... Uh, the procedural generation failed to connect it to the ceiling, so it fell down. But it was an electric lamp, so it zapped the floor. And the floor had just enough metal in it that it, it shot and ex electrified everything that was the floor. And also, you were on the floor. because But you were off-screen, so you just died. And that's it. That's just how that works. Died because a lamp generated. Yes. Yes. That is a thing that happens. So, like, sure, but I don't find that to be a particularly enthralling gameplay loop. Like, otherwise, most of the game, most of the game, Noites is pretty good. But, I mean, come on. Like, I get it. And it's, it's not, it's definitely not a bad game. I just, it's graining on the frustration level. It has a, I, I, it's kind of like the Hydroneer experience, where the game is designed to be obtuse, though in a d very different way. Uh, Hydroneer is designed to be obtuse in the patience testing. Noita is just... Uh, I hope you didn't get attached to whatever you're doing, because you're going to die at any point in time when there's nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna reset your progress by 30 minutes or whatever it is. Hopefully you weren't doing like a two-hour run. But noise would be more interesting if you could save at each sacred temple. Yes, actually. Because at least then you're only losing like 10 minutes. It would still be frustrating, but the frustration wouldn't have that two hours of lost time multiplier on it. It's like, imagine, imagine if I was playing this, and then it just crashed. Like, the game crashed. Like, I didn't have any input, I couldn't do anything about it. The game just crashed, and the save file was corrupted. Would I come back and restart this game? Probably not. That would just be the end of it. That's the Noita experience. You can die, and there is just sometimes nothing you can do about it. That's just how it is. Period. And it will reset you back to the beginning, and then that's just it. It is a gameplay experience. It's, not a, it's well done, but it's meant to be that kind of experience, and I'm just not super into it. So at least games of like most roguelites, or roguelikes of the kind, at least it's, you know, 15 minute run, and most roguelikes will have you save something that you can keep for the next round, even the more pure ones, the closer to Noita that don't keep anything, you're not losing hours of progress at times at a super slow progress it's a very very different game and duration run annoyed at going wrong is honestly crushing it is and it's just it's incredibly demotivating like i'm just not super into that gameplay experience 
but it's, it's definitely an alright game. And I know you guys love watching it. It's certainly a spectator sport. Like, not as many people enjoy playing it, but watching it, whew, that's top, that's top tier. Lord knows, watching a streamer die to something that they couldn't possibly do anything about is an experience. As is all the, like, it's got that kind of force effect where there's actually a whole lot of satisfying interactions. It's got all the physics going on. Like, there's a, there's a lot to see. And it's, um, it is actually a good, a good time, especially for the viewer experience. I'm trying to fit my base into space. Actually, yes. Yes, I am. Heat leak from the left, my plants. I think that's not the heat leak doing it this time. That's the, uh... Yeah, that's not the heat leak doing it. Uh, that's also why I haven't touched anything over here, because I don't want the heat to leak more. But it's... Yeah, we're at 29... 28, 29 degrees here. And these stop working at 30, so it's one in, It's between 1 and 2 degrees of off, but the, um, but the, uh, what is it called? But it's not, it's not that issue yet. The reason these are off is because we don't have enough people to tend the farm right now. My people are currently going up and down building f fire poles and digging to the surface. And hello, doctor. Is there a doctor in the house? Decreased strength, decreased construction. And he's a construction specialist with a doctor secondary. That's not happening, I'm sorry. <sighs> hello there, thimble reeds. You're convenient. I do actually need a few of those. Uh, what are you growing? You require oxygen, 22 degrees to 37 degrees. And uses polluted water. Okay. Do I have... Hey, Paku fillets. A Paku fish died. Uh, let's put coal back because I accidentally clicked that off. We've got a lot. We've got 30 tons of coal. That's a decent amount. Uh, I wanted polluted water, of which I currently have zero, but I can fix that. Um, I also want thimble reeds. I say as if I can support more farms right now. Okay. Well, we're just not going to deal with that right now. No more farms. I'm building the fire pole from the little NAS video. Oh no. Alright, so now we actually have some relative speed going up and down this. Or down this. Oh, hello, Sparkle Streamer. You make everyone happy. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Excellent, yes. Paku fish and polluted water finally died. Indeed. Yep, right here. And it created a Paku fry and a gulp fry. Okay. I I don't I don't want it. It's gone stale incredibly quickly. Could compost it. Okay. Yeah, let's compost this. Hmm. It's going to turn into a prince, and that makes me sad. Hydroponic farms only require soil input, which will save some time. You are correct. You are correct. They also... Well, these don't... These only require soil input. These don't require water because they're mealwood. And mealwood doesn't require water. So that wouldn't help in this particular instance. But yes. I don't know that I want to send my dudes into the... Into the germs to deal with that. 
Got a lot of hatches here. I'll get some hatch food out of them eventually. Hatch flesh. So many hatch. So many hatch. Good old fashioned fish fry. Yeah. That is an option. I can make fish fry. Cooked fish. I'm not going to do that because that requires germs. Is it worth sending somebody to that Pluto water though? Nah. I've got enough food to go around. I've got plenty of muckroot and pickled meal. Alright, sweet. We have the fire pole. Research complete. Is that it? Oh, guys, this is the last tier 2 research. And then we have a free person to do all the farming. Oh, yeah. We can immediately go do all the farming. Look, he gets off of he gets off of doing research for one second and immediately all the farm is done. That's that's how close we are. <laughs> oh no. You take one psychic damage per second from watching the stream of learning oxygen not included. You love it. <laughs> Alright, have a good one there, Andromeda. In fact, I can do you one better. I need food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this game and we'll come back to this a little bit later. But for now, have a good one, everyone. It has been a great live stream. Let's see. Is there anyone here that we're going to raid? Uh, Caitlin's online. Couple friends playing. Archie's doing New Worlds. Uh, Winter's on StarCraft. Scotch is on Fortnite. Kara's on Fortnite. I'm going to go get food. Have a good night, guys. It's been a great time.